Sons of Gondor, of Rohan, my brothers. I see in your eyes the same fear that would take the heart of me. A day may come when the courage of men fails, when we forsake our friends and break all bonds of fellowship. But it is not this day, an hour of wolves and shuddered chills, when the age of men comes crashing down. But it is not this day, this day we fight, by all that you hold dear in this good earth, I bid you stand, men of the West. <laughs> Everyone, welcome to the stream, guys. We have so many viewers already. That's dope. Thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Uh, I hope you're gonna enjoy every 88 viewers already, man. This is crazy, dude. <laughs> I don't know what to say, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And yeah, we're gonna start with the grand final, but we are waiting for Eternal. Eternal will be joining the co-commentary. And yeah, we're gonna have so much fun. It's gonna be best of seven between Mr. Smok and Irby. And if you don't know that, the winner of this tournament, so either Mr. Smok from Ukraine or Irby from Slovenia, will get $120. While the loser of this game gets 50 okay so a lot of mcdonald's a lot of burger king a lot of action eternal join join the room my friend join discord oh you're here already eternal oh i was muted sorry <laughs> hi eternal hello hello oh my god man Grand this final. Is it. This is it. Oh, it was it was really rough to get through, dude. It was over one month, guys. Thank you for not leaving us alone. But before we jump into the game, I've made an interview with the players. Uh, basic questions. They answered that. Let's get over it. A uh, couple of seconds. Nothing too crazy. I gotta find it. There we go. Interview. First, we're gonna start with Irby, okay? Okay, right. we, we asked Irby, what keeps you playing Rise of the Witch King after so many years? And he answered, I play for about a year. I really like the game, the Lord of the Rings elements, and it is for me personally the best strategy game I have ever experienced. The second question that we asked Irby was, did you expect to, to, reach the, uh, to reach the grand finals and if yes, to face against Mr. Smug? And he said, I was hoping to get far, but I didn't expect anything. Yeah, I was expecting Mr. Smog to be in finals. The third question was, since you already secured at least $50 for yourself, what are you planning to do with this cash prize? He answered, I will buy food. <laughs> 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 the fourth question was, from 1 to 10, while 1 is bad and 10 is great. Also, this is a question to you, Chad. How would you rate the format and the rules of this tournament? And Irby, such a nice guy, voted with 10. And the fifth question was, any advice for the players who are looking to improve their gameplay? And Irby answered with, watch the streams, replays, casts, there are so many good ones, play some 1v1s and do not be afraid to lose. The sixth question uh, was, what kind of faction can we expect to see from you today in the finals? He answered with dwarves, elves, Isengard, Angmar and goblins. What are you thinking about the match against Mr. Smog? That was our seventh question. He said the games are going to be close and may take quite long. It is going to be great finals. And that's what we're expecting here. Yeah. And then the eighth question uh, was, it seems that you have a lot of friends in this community as they were always cheering for you in the streams. Would you like to say something to them before the finals? He said, I love you all. <laughs> And the second last question was, can we expect to see you in the future tournaments as well? And he said, I will try to participate. And the last question was, what's your favorite faction and why? He said, Isengard, because of the fighting Urukai. Thank you so much for the follow, by the way. Yo ho ho ho, 46 just became a pirate. And then we Look have at the... the cap. You've got the perfect background here. 107 <laughs> viewers! Holy shit. Oh my god. Nice. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we're not gonna lose any time, but let's get real fast over the questions from Mr. Smog. The first question, what keeps you playing Rise of the Witch King after so many years? He said, this RTS is made for me. 
I like everything about it. Even legs don't confuse me to play more. The second question was, did you expect to, to reach the grand finals and if yes, to face against RB? He said, I was expecting and aiming to reach the finals and also the chance to fight against RB in here. Even though he was for many, including myself, an underdog in this tournament. He is a worthy opponent and was training the past two months for this tournament. The third question was, since you already secured at least $50 for yourself, what are you planning to do with this cash price? And he said, I'm gonna go in my capital city Kiev to do some things but must pay off uh, some debts. So no sub for Shanks this month. Aww. Uh, Aww. <laughs> the fourth question was from 1 to 10, while 1 is really bad and 10 is super great, how would you rate this format and the rules of this tournament? And he said, I would rate it 8 because all games on streams is pretty long for the organization. The second thing because of which a rating of 8 is that the tournament dragged on for a one week in October. In other things, I'm really happy about this tournament, like random maps, co-casters, group stage, and and so on. Nice. And the fifth question was, any advice for the players who are looking to improve their gameplay? I think many players must pick one faction and read the build orders. Learn hotkeys for the for this faction on GameReplace.org. After they must watch some replays or video records, streams with good or expert players and maybe even copy their playstyle in start if they don't know how to do and of course many 1v1 practice. What kind of faction can we expect to see from you in the finals? He said, I will pick random. What are you thinking about the match versus Irby? I must, I think I must win, but will not, will not be easy. I feel score like 4-1 or 4-2. So pretty confident our friend from Ukraine. Uh, is there anything mm. you would like to say to those who are spotting you in the Twitch chat? Just thank you, I will try my best in the finals. The ninth question was, can we expect to see you in the future tournaments as well? Of course, he said. And last question, what's your favorite faction and why? I think I like all factions expect, except elves, they are boring mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, you are italic to me, my friends. Maybe it's me. Oh I'm my gonna... god. No, 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 I'm gonna... Oh, maybe let's post... Um, 134 start. viewers! Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for tuning in, man. Appreciate it. I was expecting a high number, to be honest, because we make a lot of announcements in YouTube, Facebook, and so on. But I didn't expect that many, though. Crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Guys, we didn't thank... even start the match. <laughs> yeah. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. It really means a lot to me. And yeah, I mean, even though we had some troubles during this tournament, uh, I know not everyone was 100% happy about it. And I'm sorry for that, but I tried my best. And before we jump into the finals today, big thanks to Eternal who was making those beautiful, beautiful images videos for me for this for this tournament. Uh, joining the co-commentary as well to Solas and Abba. And especially to you guys in the chat for not leaving us alone in this entire month. We uh, already yeah, bet. You need to, you need to restart. Okay, I'm, uh, gonna, re I'm gonna give you host fast. Yeah. Okay, I'm joining you, my friend. Can you can give me host again? Yeah. Beautiful. No Italic anymore. We're gonna jump nope. right into the game number one in the grand finals of the World Championship, guys. Here we go. The co-caster is Eternal. Horrible. Uh, uh, yo, who, who has that? Sky Remo Scary Moon. Fotisa, welcome to the stream. Fotisa, that's the first time I see you in the chat, bruh. Horrible dreamer, so many, so many guys, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. <clears throat> Let's hope uh, we can get uh, Solas and Aber maybe after with us, so we can have like a yeah, crazy would, party going on. <laughs> would be crazy. They are more than welcome, obviously, to join us. Uh, we're gonna spin our wheel. I forgot about that, guys. Sorry about that. We're gonna spin. And we're gonna start with the finals on the map Eastfold, ladies and gentlemen. So what do you think about Eastfold between Mr. Smog and Irby or Eternal the first? And the main question is, what do you think about the games between Irby and Mr. Smog? 
what do you expect today in this grand final? If you or just make it clear, what is your guess about the score at the end of the day? Oof, uh, personally, I have no like. I can be like, it's gonna be th this way, you know. For me, it's gonna be. I don't know. <sighs> Urbi is so good now, and he surprised me a bit. Mr. Smoke is so good too, but I don't know. If one of them do a critical mistake, I think it's like kind of the like uh, David against Goliath, but David still has a good chance, you know? <laughs> so it's like, I don't know, anything can happen really. There is not like, okay, it's going to be 4 3, it's going to be 4 0, you know? For me, it's going to be, I don't know, I'm really hyped because I, it's going to, I'm really, I think I'm going to be very surprised. Like, it can be anything really, any score. So just make a guess, you know, just say a uh, number, okay, two just numbers. If I have to say, I, I'm just going to say Irby is going to win because I want Irby to win. So I'm, I'm rooting for Irby. So you can't say that as co-caster, you know, <laughs> you need yeah, to be yeah, neutral, yeah, my friends. <laughs> yeah, I, I am neutral as a co-caster, but as, as a player, as a friend also, I'm for Irby. But if as a co-caster, maybe either for, for free to, for smoke. If guys, I'm take a picture, really, please. Really take a picture of 130 viewers, guys. And it, I'm oh, gonna yeah. make it as a background on my phone, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's spice, yeah, by the way, that's more than I was expecting, guys. Excuse me, because I'm really excited. I'm shaking right now a bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's crazy. We had maximum 98 up till, up till this day. Oh, guys. Again, oh, yeah, thank you so much. Pa Panther telling me it's got almost finished. Yeah. Because this weekend, this was a crazy weekend. We had like the Game of Thrones tournament and the W and the, the World Championship now. It's so good. Like, so it's Irby so good be... to be in Rise of the Chicken community right now. <laughs> yeah. Irby will be pre-picking Isengard, by the way, guys. And Yachtzi, thank you so much for the follow, my man. Appreciate yeah, ha, ha, ha. it. Yachtzi underscore just became a pirate. So we have uh, Mr. Smog against Irby, the game number one, Mordor against Isengard. Mr. Smog picked random faction while Irby was pre-picking Isengard. This is the map Eastfold, guys. We have Eternal with us today here. We'll be commentating together with me. Um, let me first of all introduce you the players. On the top side of the map, we have the green Isengard player, SDK Irby from Slovenia. And on the bottom side, we have the blue Mordor player from Ukraine, Mr. Smog. In the game number one. So, my friend Eternal, what do you think about yeah. this matchup? This matchup used to be very hard in version 7. Now in version 8, it's pretty nice. But early game, you will see that Isengard has a very clear advantage. Until Mordor is able to get to the mid game. And in late game, Mordor is way better than Isengard in some ways. So, basically, it's going to be hard early game for Modo, except if uh, he plays well, maybe he gets some cav on the field. I believe Mr. Smoke is going to go for that. He's going to go for a build like two resource buildings, one Oak Pit, one Palace into a cav. That's usually a classic build against Isengard. And I see Isengard started double farms with a third and uh, directly into Uruk Pit. He's starting Pugs actually, so I'm a bit surprised about this. He's probably going to go creep. Let's look at the waypoint. No, he didn't make any weight point just yet on the Urukai. All right. Um, what do you think about the War Chance PowerPoint choose from Mordor player Mr. Smog? Because we normally or most likely see Eye of Sauron into Industry. Yes, but indeed. What is the reason why why to start with a War Chant instead of Eye of Sauron? So basically, here is um, making sure he's not gonna be countered by uh, Cribane. As you know, Cribane is a an active debuff, which means it nullifies the leadership and debuffs the enemy troops. So the eye being leadership, you know, it's gonna cancel the eye and debuffs the enemy troops. So it will really give the advantage to Aizen. So by doing that, is counter blind is uh, blind countering this. So a blind counter is basically when you do like you don't know that the enemy has calf, but you're still doing pikes, you know. So that's called a blind counter. Well, he's doing that and. <clears throat> He's making sure that he's gonna, his early game is going to be strong on the battlefield side, you know? He's, yeah. he's, he's going to have a later industry, but if he has a strong attacks, if he has a, a, a good battles, managed battles well, which he will normally do with War Chant, um, it will, at the end, be a better choice than uh, I. But as we can see, 
Ruby went for watch him, so actually Ooh, going build -a, build -a, build -a, build -a, build -a, build -a. Oh my god, man. What, what okay. is the builder doing there? Lost his way. All right, now Ubi was uh, scouting with the builder, but he, was, he got a bit uh, reckless. That, that's bad creeping uh, on the bottom right side, by the way. Very bad. Yeah, very bad. He's going to still do it somehow, but you're going to lose so many units. It's going to take ages to take it down. <clears throat> on the bright yeah. side, once he finished that, he's going to get those pikemen to level two. That's going to give them the power to actually recover over time. Yeah, I don't know why Urbi is doing so much pikes. Yeah, it's his second pike unit. He's going for uh, the warp could... pit as well. I, I really don't know why he's doing so much pikes. So now we're getting some cav on the field for smoke. He had a late uh, Ar Ar Arjun Palace level 2, but it was totally okay because uh, Urbi was creeping, so he was not uh, rushing. And yep. he will lose a furnace. That's a very bad start for Urbi. He lost one of his... Uh, First yeah. furnace, which is a very important furnace. And he's gonna lose the second one as well, which is really bad start for the Ice Guts player, considering that Mordor has a great scaling into the lead game. And yeah. look the pressure now, there, um, this is crazy. Now the Cav is gonna come and flank on those uh, crossbowmen, they're gonna die instantly, if you don't know. Cav deals flank damage, when oh. there's like even the buff on them, is it gonna kill everything? The pikes are away. Ubri was like, okay, so he's just gonna go orc spam, so I'm not gonna put my pikes here, I'm just gonna go creep. I don't know what Ubri is doing, really. He's playing <laughs> very badly right now. Yeah, questionable. Start into the best of seven series from the Slovenian player Ubri, even though the chat was cheering, uh, cheering big time for him. Um, um, I was cheering too, but I don't know. Uh, he did double pike start, normal start into troll creep, I'm not sure. And then he, he did his second bike again against Orc Spam. When he knew it were it was Orc, so... Mm. On the bright side, he was Dennis. just able to secure one war Creep and the bottom right troll for himself. But that's not changing the fact that he's super behind. He's gonna lose so much. Yeah. And I think this is not gonna be possible to recover. Too. Yeah, mm. no. Uh, this could be GG, really. I think it's GG, honestly. Yeah, I don't see a coming back from this situation as well. Very fast. I mean, it's not like Urbi to do such mistakes. So I think, I don't know what he was thinking. There. But you need to also keep we'll in mind, see. you are being in the finals. There is a pressure on you. You want to win oh, yeah, yeah. and that leads you it's to It's also mistake. the first game, so it can be a warm-up game too. Like, yeah. oh my god, I'm missing up everything. And then, and then it's got to be, I don't know. And then it'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, but uh, on okay. the other side, a really super great start into the series from the Ukraine player, Mr. Smok. That's going to push his confidence. That's going to give him the upper hand. And yeah, being 1-0 behind is not going to help you. I hope that Irby is not going to lose his focus. Because focus is yeah. that what matters if you want to win these games. Yeah, focus and will. And basically, um, as Mordor, you can't dream of a better start nah. against Aizen, like, I mean, yeah, maybe you can do even better by losing even less orcs, but that was like, he took two very important farms very early on. Uh, yeah, pikes on the field with a normal barrack, creeping a troll, I don't think it's a good start against such, against Mordor. Mm, I don't think so as well. Mm, questionable. Yeah, maybe he was trying something. Um, maybe he was expecting smoke. Mr. Smoke to get, you know, the Haradrim lances much, much sooner on the field. And then he got even fooled by himself because after not seeing cavalry for the first two minutes, he was like, okay, I don't need yes. to guard my crossbowman anymore. Exactly. Remember the exactly. first the first trample into the second uh, into the two battalions of crossbowmen was huge. Yeah, he nah. basically counter blinded uh, the cavalry as he thought it was gonna be like a fast cav start, but no it wasn't. Um, that's why as Mordor I would always suggest to get an or North Beat anyway because the orcs are really cheap and you, now in version 8 to get the Pal Ardim Palace level 2 it's 400 and not 450 and the cav comes out sooner I think or yeah no the, the upgrade is faster but the cav yeah but oh. basically you get those Ardim lenses faster I, I don't remember the exact change no that's but massive basically get, um, yeah. yeah that's massive now <clears throat> I mean, on the other side, I was used, but Kribine is around, so the the units, they will get debuffed, and the leadership will get negated, obviously. But yeah. Mr. Smog has obviously and clearly the <clears throat> upper hand in this game, number one. 
has the unit advantage, the resource advantage, the uh, command points and power points advantage over his opponent. Not yeah. to mention that Mordo has strong late game anyway. So yeah. Now Aradin Palace level three to further counter the Uruks. But yeah, if if I was smoked there, I could you could even go for a tented land. You don't even need I ah, don't even need the you need you don't even need industry uh, when you're such in a good position in the game. You can just get tented land and even go for the folds. There is like no units from you. Yeah, but I think he's gonna go for the you know better safe than sorry kind of strategy. Yeah, yeah, especially <clears> in a tournament game. Now you don't want to risk the biscuit. You don't want to underestimate your opponent. Yeah, um, exactly. Because we have seen already some great comebacks in this tournament so far. Uh, Troll Cage is level two. That means we be uh, we're definitely gonna get to see Drama Troll on the field. Haradrim Palace is level three. So Haradrim Arches with the Drama Troll leadership bonus in the back. They're gonna hit like a truck. Uh, but I don't think that it's gonna be necessary because right now if you're gonna check the command points and power points So Mr. Smog, the blue Mordor player from Ukraine has currently 700 command points available chat He's sitting on 7 power points after having Warchant and Eye of Sauron On the other side, actually in terms of power points it's quite equal But only 350 command points available for Irby And he has, his resource income is being beyond terrible, not beyond standards, by the way. By the way, beyond <laughs> standards, you need to hit that follow button if this is your first time here. <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, I don't see a comeback except if Sauron comes out. <laughs> and even if Sauron comes out, the Arri Marchers are already... I mean, he can, he can make archers and kill him. So. <laughs> yeah, we just checked the command points and power points, Imperialist. 700 command points and 7 power points after Eye of Sauron and Warchant for the Mordor player, Mr. Smok. And almost 8 power points after having Kribine and Warchant, as well as 350 command points for the Isengard player, Erby from Slovenia. Okay, so just a quick thing, guys. This is very huge for the community. El Rohir, El Rohir is a French streamer who is streaming with us the tournament for the French community as 100 viewers. And us, uh, Beyond Standards, um, we have 150. Can, so can, can, someone, can, can someone take a screenshot from that, please, guys? I'm in the game, I can't. That means the tournament right now has 250 viewers. I don't know, but I don't know if you know, but for Rise of the Ocean community, this is super huge. This is amazing. <laughs> This is amazing, guys. Thank you so much for that, Talk because camp. this is only possible because of you. And yeah, I mean, I hope you enjoyed this kind of content. We are definitely up to create more and more content based on the Battle for Middle-earth games. Um, we have another tournament in mind, uh, which is going to start hopefully within the next one to one and a half months, but not immediately afterwards. Uh, first, we got to find out who's going to be our world championship. It's going to be either the either Ukraine, Mr. Smok, who's gonna make his country proud, or uh, Slovenia, Irby, who's not gonna make only his country proud, but many, many people in the chat are cheering, uh, are cheering for him, especially Indeed. Rambutan, my friend Rambutan. <laughs> they are clanmates, I think. Yes. Yeah, Rambutan is uh, SDK Rambo, so... SDK Rambo for 1000, yes. Yes, indeed. Who was also participating in the tournament and uh, reached the, reach the round of 16 right so. yes yes against mr smog i think he lost against mr smog if i'm not yes. mistaken so basically this is if ruby wind is like i will avenge my brother <laughs> yes 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 <laughs> i think that's but Irby needs to play better than this my friend because yeah yeah, uh, yeah. this was very bad very 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 bad uh, start from Irby, and now it's just snowballing yeah, Devastation was picked, that's gonna help, uh, that's helping Irby a bit, but it's nothing too crazy. He's still and only sitting on 350 command points, while the Mordor player Mr. Smog has 850 command points. And that's the snowballing effect. That's the effect of being a great player, that you don't have, that you don't give your opponent, any, your opponent any opportunity to come back to the game. Look the pressure he's doing all the time, from the start up till now. That's the Devastation money, money, by the way, he was just getting lures on the field. The last man standing on the field beside this one work pack, uh, work rider Battalion. And besides that, it's only like really badly damaged units here. I don't see a coming back from this situation for the Slovenian player.
guys by the way uh try to keep the chat please english okay guys because we have not everyone from russia here so i think uh people would love to love to understand what you're saying yes yes indeed all right i of sauron will be used lourdes is uh, putting in some nice work but he's not gonna defend this what can Lutz do against such a reckless hate you know that's the question and the answer is nothing it's just a matter of time but i like the fact that Irby does not surrender indeed this is a He's tournament it's a the... final you need to fight for the end till the end he's not giving the mental victory you know no he's like yeah you may be getting this round but at least you see how strong my mind is <laughs> i'm not giving up i'm giving you a fight even if i had the worst start ever great that's gonna be the game number one a strong start from mr smoke into the best of seven series beautifully done here secured the first win for himself we gotta give also credits to mr smock performing really strong in the entire tournament so far indeed uh we're gonna edit the scoreboards real quick chats um mr smock 1-0 and then obviously as you know what comes next is we're gonna spin our beautiful wheel Ooh, almost for suffice but we get jungles of farharat instead all right. Yeah. I hope we get all the all the maps in the finals. That would be great. <laughs> I mean, the possibility is obviously there because we have only five maps. Yeah. Or four maps: East Vault, West Vault. Four maps, yeah. But yeah, four maps. The first map was obviously East Vault, as you know. And we are missing someone. We are missing Irvi, I think. Um, remember, in the game number one chat, Irby was pre-picking the Isengard faction, while Mr. Smog stick up with random. So I'm assuming that Mr. Smog will again pick random faction, but let's see if Irby is gonna choose one of the factions. Remember, against Imperialis, he was choosing elves. Let's see if he's gonna do that also against Mr. Smog. Elf faction yeah, he helps picked, him a lot, yeah. actually, against Imperialis. Yeah, against the uh, Imperialist, he picked dwarves and elves, and he won with balls. Yes, exactly. Let's see if he can, if he will be doing that again in the game number two. I was quite surprised actually to see Isengard faction from him, considering that yeah, he was indeed. picking different factions in the in the semifinals against the Russian player uh, Imperialist, who who by the way plays today the bronze match uh, against SP Quar from Italy, and he won the games as well. Yeah, and uh, might I just say something? Do you know Urbi? comes from far guys okay he was not supposed to be in the tourney when he signed up the tourney was already full so we put him uh i mean shanks put him in the waiting list and the player who should have played uh in my group ended up not being here so irby was taken in so this is crazy guys that was the finalist is somebody that was not supposed to be in the tournament and we manage by chance to be to actually get a place you know it's like uh, in those big stories like uh, oh i missed it and then oh there is no pudding and yeah. do it you know that's true and yeah th there, there he is in the grand final uh, started uh, a bit randomly a bit weird here into the tournament uh, he was not sure if he want to participate or not as eternal managed uh, mentioned before but now here we are in the grand final against mr smog and he's this time gonna play the yellow goblin faction on the bottom side of the map jungles of farharat from slovenia sdk Irby, and at the top side of the map we have the green mordor player mr smog from ukraine and Indeed. what do you think eternal and chat what do you guys think also about this matchup on this map this is a very great matchup i think on this map uh, goblins may be advantage early on using the tunnel system and using the map uh uh, width to its advantage but otherwise it's just such a good matchup man it's so balanced i can't start to say all the build orders you can do as mordor and as goblins as uh, we see you be starting uh goblins i think on this map you could even go for a fisher start as there are two trolls on the side and wargs and you can basically do a beautiful fisher start but i think goblins is fine 
Yeah, he's gonna get uh, even his second Goblin Cave up on the field. By the way, DJ Premier, welcome to the stream. I know DJ Premier, he was also participating in one of these tournaments with Jernev together. DJ Jernev was the name of the <laughs> of the 2v2. And he's also one of the greatest players yeah, of Rise of the Witch King. Unfortunately, not active yeah. anymore. So I hope in the next, in the next, in the future tournaments that we will be also able to see DJP. Would be really great. Oh, yeah. So three orcs, yeah. it's gonna be spam against spam. And who's gonna win 1v1? Goblins against orcs? I think goblins, right? Yes, definitely. They have poison blades and they attack faster. Even yeah. if they're weaker, they'll, they'll always beat orcs. And they are also much, much faster. So there is no reason of running away with the orcs. Once they catch you, they will always be able to hit you. Yeah, uh, yeah So yeah. we need to just fight it out. So, uh, hold ground stands from both the players here, but Poison Blades are kicking in as you can see damage over time. And yeah. then the 1v1, as Eternal mentioned, it's not gonna even be close. Goblins are dominating the orcs. Yeah, this uh, 20 resource difference is making the, the difference. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, so they're both going for full spam, so it's gonna be goblins against orcs. Uh, what will make the difference in those fights is archers. Once you get goblin archers or orc archers, you're basically gonna win the fights, but archers cannot push buildings. So yeah, it's gonna be a bit weird. Also, I, I saw DGP uh, mention uh, Link Star. This is this could be very good on this map. Uh, it's basically um, just like when you you go calf start on this map. Every map that is a bit big on the side or a big um, has a big wide width, uh, I would say. Link start is great, and this map could be great. I think this map you could. That's why it's a great matchup. You can do f the main three uh, starts, which is Fisher, Goblins, or uh, Spiders, and on this map especially. So it's really yeah. Look, he's okay. He's also mentioning something really important. He says lots of trees for the links to be able to stealth as well. Exactly, uh, that's the truth. Uh, when we check the command points and power points, uh, Mr. Smog has currently 450 command points available for himself, chat. He, is, he has three orc pits and going for the troll cage at the same time. Uh, yeah. He has Warchant as the first power point, as well as the goblin player, Urbi, who has currently Irby. 400 command points available. Yeah, Urbi is already preparing some arches, which is good. What, what, what is Urbi is thinking right now is that since he is pushing with uh, his main units, he wants archers, archers to defend his base. So now I'll, I'd say the archers are a bit late because, as you can see, Smoke is going to get that tunnel and maybe the other one, which is bad. He's going to get both of them at um, least. Yeah, it's going to be a base trade kind of here. Hubri is going to get the main, uh, the main uh, resource buildings as Smoke is. But there is archers on the field for uh, Hubri. Uh, while uh, Smoke has his arches out of position. So I think it's a very good push for Ruby. He's gonna get the free main uh, Solar House, and that's very devastating, to be honest. I don't think that he's gonna get the third one, though. Will he be yes. able? That's the question. He got the third. He got the, the free ones. Oh, I was talking about um, Ruby, not uh, oh, okay. Smoke. Okay. Um, um, I don't think he will get it, but he could. He has Watch and on. I think uh, he will he be could. able to get it. Yeah, yeah, he will. That's bad for Irby. Maybe he won't get, be able to get the wreckage, but... Yeah, so base trade here. Interesting. Oh, also, be close. Also the troll cage. He won't be oh, able to well. get it. That's good. Okay, very nice, very nice. And he's gonna able, be able to take down another slaughterhouse here, which is huge for the okay. goblin player. That's Guys, what nice. I'm expecting from the final by myself is I want to see seven games in total, okay? That's what I'm expecting uh, of yeah. today. So yeah, I don't want to see a 4-0 or, you know, 4-1 or 4-2. I want to see at yeah. least 4-3. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Today, there was a StarCraft 2 uh, GSL finals, and it was a 4-0. <laughs> yeah. We I mean, it's it always a Solas. possibility, right? Yeah, we watched it with Solas. It was there against Terrence. It was very nice to see, but just... One player was destroying the other. <laughs> yeah. It's always more fun when uh, both players... I mean, the last game was very close, but... It's always more fun. So we're gonna when, get uh, a mountain troll on the field, by the way. Uh, gonna yeah. be super useful Urbis, against goblin spam. Yeah, Urbi saw that, but he didn't make more archers, so... This troll is gonna be really effective. There's not much archers on the field, only two units, and... One is out of position of the main army, creeping. Uh, yeah. Although Fisher is coming up, so it's very good. Let's look at the money. I didn't look at the money. 
500, they both sitting on 500 CP, but the damage dealt from Urbi was very good early game, so the yeah. smoke is gonna struggle to get his. Um, I have Sauron was used, but cave parts are ready, so keep in mind that cave parts are negating the effect of. Sorry, sorry for to interrupt you. Because yeah, Mono no was problem. just picking Eye of Sauron, Cave Buds, they will yeah. negate the leadership, plus on top of that, they will also uh, debuff the enemy units. I think, uh, yeah, Urbi did well to retreat here. He wants to uh, make this Eye of Sauron count for nothing, basically. He will wait, and then next engagement, he will not only debuff, but also win. So I think Urbi should just go away. Those archers are a pain. Just protect a bit the farm from the orcs, and you should be fine. Okay, well, never mind. Maybe he has some units in the... Yeah, some units are coming to reinforce. And we're mm -hmm. gonna have some half troll swordman units on the field as well. From Erby. Yeah, it's very nice. I think he should do some pikes too, because the uh, mountain troll is uh, defending the... The um, soldier house very well here. So That's he made only one um, mountain troll. Only for defensive yeah. purposes against the goblin spam. Yeah, um, I'm guessing. If you check the command points and power points as Mordo is retreating, um, Mr. Smok... Uh, has currently 600 command points available chat. He has three and a half power points collected after having War Chant and Eye of Sauron, almost four. On the other side, the same amount of command points here for the Slovenian player Erby, uh, who's playing the Goblin faction. He has Cave Bats and War Chants and also the same <laughs> amount of power points like Mr. Smok. Yeah, as we could see, as we can see in uh, this game too, it's way more close, and Urbi is really much more into his own energy, and uh, yeah, he feels much more confident if he knows what he's doing with goblins. But you know and what yeah. I've what I've missed? Uh, did Urbi guys maybe chat or you Eternal? Did Urbi pick goblin faction or was it random yes. mirror? Yeah, yes, he picked. Okay. And this troll is gonna get this uh, tunnel level two though. That's bad. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are being scared. Also, the, the fact that more, uh, you know, Mr. Smog picked uh, random both the games, and both the games he got Mordo as well. Yeah, indeed. So that's great for us because Mordo is a faction we don't get to see quite often in this tournament, and I'm always to I'm always happy to see a faction we don't normally see, which is always nice. Yeah. 162 yeah, yeah. viewers, by the way. <laughs> this is crazy. This, this is, is crazy. This is halle hallelujah. You know, uh, what, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah, guys. Very, very, uh, very well appreciated. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Now we're gonna have some uh, half troll spike man. So the trolls, they gotta be careful. Look, yeah. one hit only almost half half uh, half the health bar is gone from the stroll, but they can outrun the pikeman, right? So they can just run away. Yeah, he needs to put the pikeman into the tunnel and wait for the trolls to come close, and then hit them out and get yeah. a nice hit. They will hold it together. You are even overrunning those trees, dot. <laughs> yeah, 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 man, yeah. Man. The ants are gonna be raging. <laughs> But look, like, at, what? but look at trolls? the drama troll is gonna make a difference here with the leadership and the roar ability. Yeah. And let's yeah. see how much effective this is gonna be. Cave Ooh, pads build a kill. are build almost a kill. gonna. We can get a build a kill here in the base. No, he, he missed it. And okay, never mind. He could have got a nice build a kill. But he's but... pressuring quite nicely here on those slaughterhouses. But he needs to defend yeah. this somehow, though. Uh, Cave pads gonna be ready soon, uh, which is good to negate the leadership here. There we go. Will be used from yeah. the drama troll. Urbi macro is a bit off. Um, I think he, he needs Azog or Cave. Cave trolls himself, actually. That yeah. would be very nice. Or maybe Spider Riders as well. There is an Arajin Palace on the field, but that would force the enemy to do pikes and prevent some harassing. But I, I think Cave trolls would be better, in my opinion. Or at least Azog. Azog would be a beast. Mm, this to is a nice fight. This is a nice fight here for RV. And he's at the same time taking down really important slaughterhouses. Yeah, again, so... very nice harassment. Completely a different Irby in the game number two, I gotta say. Yeah, he's finally woken up. <laughs> also, he picked Entained Allegiance. Very, very interesting choice, especially as goblins. Uh, he could have picked anything. He could have picked um, Spider Link Summon, Entained Allegiance, or uh, I believe the bats lead to um, Wildman Summon. So he could have picked Wildman Summon 
Or Spider-Man. Look, look, look what the goblin player picked up. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he preferred to, to, to take Entertainment Agents and he's now gonna make some cave trolls. So it's just like I said, he needs cave trolls and he gets uh, a cave troll there, which is nice. Although yeah. Smoke is gonna see that, that very fast, he actually scouted this with some oaks. So this will leave the surprise a bit off. Um, when you see that, what's very good to do is to go for the kill. You go here, you destroy the troller, and you get the resource from that. So you not only make the Untamed Allegiance kind of uh, worthless, since you already saw it and you destroy it fast, but you also take the treasure from the enemy player. <laughs> so that's that's what you should do when you see uh, when you see that. But a big push coming now. Yeah, from, it's big. So. Uh, drama troll, two mountain trolls, plus a couple of archers, orcs, and Easterlings. Um, yeah. And cave oh. pads are on cooldown from the goblin player. I also have him plus watch and it's gonna be ready for the model player though. Let's see how effective yeah. this push gonna be. He uh, just needs watch and here, but we have Azog on the field, which is very nice. He'll kill the trolls basically. Uh, watch and will be used. Double buff. Uh, is cave bats ready? No, it's not ready. It's almost ready, but not yet. No, it's gonna Although be. Although there is a base trade again. Urbi is doing a big push while Smokey is doing a big push. Oh, so yeah. who is gonna be the most effective push? I think Urbi. Because there is nothing to counter this. Ah, never mind. The fortress is actually damaging quite nicely. Gonna force the mountain yeah. troll back. He needs to destroy that industry solar house. If he can get it, it will be very, very, very good. It will make industry a bit useless. Yeah. Yeah, he will get it very nice. Very Although well done. Even lose. He really didn't even lose his level two uh, tunnel in the back of his base, so it's gonna go level three very soon. And so the bright side for Irby is there are only Orc Archers left. They are really weak against structures anyway, so he doesn't need to yeah, be worried exactly. about that. Exactly. Just what I said in, in the beginning. I said, remember, if they make too much Archers, they can't push the building. And boom, that's what happened. He might even be able to take down one of these Orc Pits, though, which would be nice. Look, look the Cave Troll damage in the back of uh, Smoke Base. That's why you need Cave Troll. If, especially if your opponents get Cave Trolls, it's going to force him to make Archers and can... The cave trolls are a bit better than mountain trolls, so it's always, I don't know, it's bad. it's good. Um, it's giving you a ledge. So really exciting to see a couple of trolls here, mountain and cave trolls on the fields. This cave troll is popping off, by the way, taking down the structures one by one. Can even finish this one. There is nothing that can take take him down. Look, there is another one. And Man, I think this is very well performing here from Irby, to be honest. Great this decision making. Irby, in my I'm opinion. So Smoke is uh, CP cap at, at 400, MQ's which is very bad, $10. while will be is at 725. Shout out to Shanks and everyone so he's definitely in an advantage, he's even gonna take down this palace, so no pikes on the field, only archers to counter the trolls. Wait a sec, wait, one second. MQS, my friend, thank you Yo so ha -ha much for the dono. Rodani1218 just became Whoa. a pirate. $10! He's sharing his treasure with us, what a generous pirate! Thank you so much for that, man. It really means a lot to me. It's, by the way, this money will also be used for the next tournament, so I'm not gonna buy McDonald's this time, okay? And thank you so, so much nice. for the follow, bro, bro Dani, uh, bro Dani 218 Appreciate it. Welcome. Hook champ, guys. 174 viewers, by the way. <laughs> it's crazy. And who here still has 100, so we are almost at 300, guys. Can we make it? 300... Viewer on one tournament on Rise of Witch King. Let's go! Yeah, that would be crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Cra uh, I don't know what to say, guys. Thank you so much. Look, I was, uh, to be honest, uh, I gotta admit something. I was, you know, active in the Facebook forums lately. <laughs> Especially for this grand final, you know, I was like posting on every single BFME related, RTS related Facebook. So I was expecting since those got a lot of views and likes, but I was not expecting that many, to be honest. So thank you guys. Thank you so much. And yeah, we so have good. a worm special summon here. Yeah, this is GG. There is no more production building on the field. Urbi has a wall map. Smoke is... Uh, uh, maybe he's going for a fell beast, but I don't think it will save him. Nah. It's just gonna delay, but it's not gonna deny, uh, deny that from happening what's happening. Look yeah, at yeah, the yeah. Uh, bottom left side of your screen, ladies and gentlemen. Look the units moving from Irby. Very well performed here from Irby in the game number two. Indeed, we're gonna see a really entertaining and interesting series between those players. But we got we gotta also add, add to that that Mr. Smog got two times in a row Mordo faction. And Irby on the other side 
looking strong and Mr. Smog was maybe too overconfident in the interview when he was saying I'm gonna win this for one or for two. Yeah. Because he you don't wanna underestimate the Slovenian guy. You know? Mr. Smog just bought the fell beast, but it's too late. It's yeah. GG in my opinion. He's gonna call it GG yeah. anyway, gonna delete his fortress. The game number two will go to Slovenia and we have a scoreboard. Uh, we have a new score after this game number two. It's gonna be one. One, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. And as you know, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna spin our wheel. Westfold. So we have actually three games, three different maps. And I hope the next one will be Forts of Eisen. <laughs> Let's see. <sighs> all right so panzer is even scared uh, because everyone was going all out you know for mr smog as we started the bets before we started with the game number one <laughs> and i'm just gonna tell you guys to your information how many bets we got on uh Actually, it's pretty equal. Look, 44% of the people voted for Erby and 56% of the people, they vote for Mr. Smog. All right. So quite, quite equal, I gotta say. Yeah. Uh, I'm picking Angmar. I should be picking Observer. Yeah, I'm waiting for Erby. I hope he's saving the replay. By the way, MQS, thank you again so much for the $10, man. Appreciate it. This will be used wisely. I'm gonna pay... I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay... I'm gonna pay a tunnel for that. For all those images and videos. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah, the, I got... The bets are... I'm doing it for free. Yeah, I know. For the community. I, I know, man. By the way, guys, you don't need to thank me. We need to just also thank a lot to Eternal. Uh, say to uh, say thank you to the channel because like from uh, the thumbnails for the YouTube channel by the way subscribe to my YouTube channel <laughs> <laughs> uh, to <clears throat> to I don't know to the uh, to images videos intros everything was made by a channel everything since I have two left hands you know I can't do that by myself indeed it's a community job Napa dude welcome to the stream make content uh, contest uh, contest bets uh, did already. I did before we started with the game. The, the first 15 minutes into the stream was like opening bets. And since we are always betting on the outcome of the series instead of the outcome of the game, each game, you know? Yeah. You can be like, oh, now Smoke is losing 2 3, so I'm gonna bet for Irby. <laughs> yeah. No, no, but you can obviously you can do it also for the, for the, you know, for each game you can do that, but I didn't want to. Wait, Westworld. Spot. Yeah, bet. it's very. I just want a word about the community. It's very nice. Like every tournament, like we just add friend tournament. We are all involved. We all great. It's a bit unfortunate that we had the both tournament the same weekend, but that happens. I think next 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 time we'll organize it even better so we can have like uh, one tournament every like I don't know, like one tournament only in one weekend. You know, but I think like we're all. But this one, mass this one and... was massive tournament, you know. This was not yeah, yeah. a really small one. We had 32 players from 19 different countries yeah, with definitely. different time zones. So I think we get like a lot. I, I was checking the statistics of the streams lately, and I have streamed in this month, as in September, you know. Uh, I was only exclusively streaming Rise of the Witch King tournament. This tournament, I have streamed in total of 50 hours. So imagine yeah. how. And uh, there were also games I could not stream by myself, so. And yeah, yeah, we got a lot of content, which is great, but I think to make this in this size is not gonna be easy, you know. Yeah, yeah definitely. All but, right, uh, guys. what I'm saying is that it's a community effort, so it's really nice to see. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm just so happy <laughs> about the community. Okay, guys, we're gonna open the bets after this game, just because so many of you guys want that, okay? For the next game, but this is too late already for this one. <clears throat> we're gonna do that for the next one, okay? On the right side of the map, we have the red man of the West player from Ukraine, Mr. Smok, starting with a stable delete strategy. 
And on the left side of the map, we have the yellow Elvin player from Slovenia, SDK Irby, had a great game in the last game as Goblin Faction against Mordor on the map Jungles of Farharat. And uh, yeah, this is the game number three. The score is 1 1. Elves against Men of the West, Rallying Call, Rallying Call, 300 uh, command points for the men, 350 command points for the elves. So, what do you guys think about this matchup? Eternal? Um, this is a bad start for Ruby. He's going in starting uh, archers. I would not recommend this against men. As a, as you can see, he's getting calves. There is always a cav risk. So we need to scout maybe with a builder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ruby, go with a builder now. Well, it's a bit risky because the cav is almost out. He needed to, to go scout before. Now his builder is a bit late to scout, but he's going to scout. And he will see... Well, he won't see anything now. <laughs> he won't see anything. But uh, yeah, he should have scouted a bit earlier. But um, yeah, but he's gonna yeah, get he... the second battalion sentry at least. So watch out, Chunk Kaimaki Peter Jones entering the ship. Ahoy, matey! Yeah, so stable did it, and they will get the trees. To be honest, Chunky Monkey oh, oh, Peter never mind. Jones. Thank you so much for the thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it and welcome to the stream. Okay, the se the Mithran sentry just came out. I thought the cab would uh, try to get this tree. Um, and the pikes would come out on them, but no. I think they won't be able to take down anything. Yeah. Uh, no, I think they'll get this one, but... Yeah, with the oh. rallying call now, yes. Maybe. It's gonna be yeah, close, will though. Yeah, he will lose Cav. He will lose Cav. That's bad for him. Yo, ha, ha, ha. Tracky Roti uh, just became a pirate. Every Cav try to get, like, to preserve your, your Cav, so the whole game, basically. If you try to get it level 5, it's like your main Cav unit for the whole game, so you need to... Yeah, especially because he deleted that, all cavalry gonna be important. Uh, but he's being annoying, he's full, he will be able to take down one of these uh, Malon trees, which is great. In the meantime, the Alban yeah. player was creeping on the bottom left side. And Traki, Rise of the Witch King, thank you so much for the follow, appreciate it, my man. Hope you're gonna enjoy your stay. And yeah, what do you think about the start here, which was a bit rough? Ooh, very nice, very yeah. nice, he's still gonna get this tree. Yeah, he's very well micro here from the red. Man of the best player, yeah. Mr. Smok. Ooh, no. okay. nice micro man. I, I can't say anything. It's totally worth it. Yeah, totally worth it. You just need the well now. Two Malon trees hit, taken down. Yeah, as we saw earlier, when Urbi was creeping, a little trick that you can do when you're creeping, basically, is when you have killed the wogs or the troll or whatever, put your archers into bombard mode on the lair. It will destroy the lair and then destroy the rubble automatically since you, you don't have to micro it twice. Yeah. So it's a little neat trick to, to do. Aggressive stance in shield pull formation. Doesn't make yeah, too much sense. <laughs> now the elf is gonna recover a bit until yeah. the next battle. I mean, the elf player will be uh, most likely playing a really defensive game, you know? Uh, yes, early definitely. on. Um, yeah, yeah. And then he will be building up. I, I think we have seen so many gameplays from the Elf faction in this tournament, especially in the quarterfinals. We have seen a lot of Elven mirrors as well. The way we have seen that also from Irby in the semifinals against Imperialist was more defensively early on. Later on, once you get ready with the Elves, it's really hard to stop them. Um, but we had a great yeah, start into the series from the Elves the... to get what he wants. Basically, you you should constantly um, put. Um, I don't know how to, to say it in English. <laughs> Basically, pressure. Uh, don't. Maybe not. Sometimes it's good to have, but it's good to make a strong attack. But you should never let him get what he wants. That's what I mean. Yeah. Let's see. There is a always statue coming him, up. Always force him into choice that uh, that will not that will, that will diver, diver, that will go a different route than maybe he wants to go in the fast. Well. Prevent him from getting that and make force him to make more troops or something mm, like that. This is a bad fight here. I don't know about that. There is a statue up though. Yeah. It's rally call ability available. Ready, so yeah. But it's gonna is be ready for the man of the best play as well. So Ah but yeah, he no, he lost his archers. It. He should not use it. Yeah, is there two battalions against six? No no point. Yeah. But on but, the other side, the man of the best player will be able to take down this Malon trees on the bot side. Archers mm, and pikes are around. I don't think he will be able to. He will be able to take down this one, or should be able. No, to. no, no. The pikes peasant are too weak against Archer. I mean, if Urbi is, yeah, maybe he will actually. 
And but look at the pressure he's stealing there. The soldiers are coming out of the barracks. They yep. will be immediately taken down. Exactly. Which is huge. It they is, cost uh, 250 each, man. This is how you put pressure with elves as uh, basically every you camp the production buildings. To prevent the enemy from getting troops. And he's even getting the barracks with the pikes. Very nice. Very well done. Uh, rallying call will be used now defensively. The horses are looking Ooh. for a trample. There are no pikes around. Buff <laughs> Cav is go very good here. Uh, and even the rally call, right at that moment, the rally call from the Elven troops were... But Elven Wood oh, will be here. Elven Wood, very nice. Uh, I, I believe the men are going to get a hero. The men is going to get her hero is yeah. cash folding. Props Farami or something? Or Boromir? Boromir Maybe. would be nice. We didn't see that for a long time. Mm, yeah, Ooh, he's yeah, trampling he the pikes. You got to be careful. The, the horses. Oh my god, yeah. what is he doing Ooh, with the horses? Two, two. Oh my god. Feels bad, man. I think bad, it's 2-1, uh, to be honest. Bormir will not turn this around. No. This is an Elven Forest. So Elven Forest is fear resist, if you don't know. Immune to fear and terror. Yeah. But he will, he's gonna lose even a, even a level 2 farm, which is a really big feels bad, man, for, the, for Mr. Smog from Ukraine. Yeah. But a great start, actually. was able to take down two really important Malone trees early on with his cavalry start. Uh, but yeah, then, what all, went wrong for him? That's the question. It all came down to the fact that the uh, Elven player was ma uh, has managed to make up a shit ball, as we call it. <laughs> Basically, the men didn't kill any units from the Elven player. He didn't trample those first archers. Remember, I I, I told you like, oh, archers they may they may be killed uh, very fast since it's a cap set, but no, they didn't catch each other. He went creeping, and the cavalry w w went away. So there was no. Um, scouting for from the men either to see if uh, the elven player was creeping. So basically, the elven player was uh, allowed to build up a big army and then push, as is the el classic elven strategy. And Smoke had nothing left in his base to defend, just two units, which died to uh, six other units. You know, so yeah. Now Borm is on the field, but uh, he's gonna be useless even if he gets his own. It's not gonna. Ah, he won't get it on the elven wood. Plus, Haldir is also on around to hit him. He's gonna yeah, die, he's and that's gonna be game number three, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Irby will be able to win this one. Uh, really great start here uh, into the best of seven series. We, we are not done yet. I mean, if Irby wins that, and he's gonna win this, he needs to win at least two more games. Remember, this is a best of seven instead of best of five. So, Mr. Smog has still chances, but that's the first time we see Mr. Smog losing a series, actually, in the tournament Indeed. so far. Which I'm really hyped off. I'm, I'm really a big fan of underdogs winning. And for yeah. me, to be honest, I don't know about you guys in the chat, but for me, Mr. Uh, Mr. Smog, you know, was the favorite in the grand final. And Irby is teaching us a lesson here. He's like, don't underest me, underestimate me. My name is Irby, okay? Exactly. Mr. Smog is gonna call it GG and he's gonna demolish his fortress. That's gonna be game number three. The score will be 2 1 for Irby from Slovenia. Beautiful. And as promised, we're gonna open our beds again. I'm so fit right now. Okay, oh my okay, god. Okay. Goblin Report tipped $5. What a generous pirate. Very entertaining tournament. Shanks, our secret project is uploading right now. More and treasure. the channel, I love your casting. You put a lot of effort in it. Your English is great. Don't worry. Your English is great. Don't worry. I don't know. I was not reading, reading the chat. Was someone judging my English? <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for the five dollars, my friend. Appreciate it. Yeah, Goblin Report and me, we have a secret project going on, to be honest. But since oh? it's secret, I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm a guy, you know, I can keep secrets for myself. I'm trustworthy. <laughs> 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 All right, so Irby has a lead now, chat. 2 1. And before we jump into the game number four, as mentioned before, we're gonna op open our bets. Uh, how to do that though? I'm a bit noob here. I need to do click so many stuff, so much stuff at the same time. Okay, we're gonna make a what? What? I can't. I can't make it. I think. Or can I? Check. Everyone is trying to bet now. <laughs> oh no! Uh, smoke is losing. I need to bet on Irby now. <laughs> But the, pro the problem is that I can't open two bets at the same time, and since the first one is already going on, 
Um, oh. I can't open the second one, to be honest. Oh. But what we can do, just in case you wanna bet, no matter what, uh, you don't. We can still do something. Uh, you know, straw poll or something. There is a site, right? Yeah, straw yeah. poll. We can actually hear who will win the next game. Uh, Mr. Smog, and then we have um, say it, Irby. Mm, okay. Just because of because you guys want that, okay? We're gonna do that here. It's about winning, right? It's not about winning the points, obviously. Use the site, then you can bet, guys. Okay. Um, we're gonna jump right into the game number four. <clears throat> Again, guys, thank you so much for the follows and for the donors. <clears throat> Appreciate it. Um, we're gonna spin our wheel again. My voice is completely gone. I was, I think, too, a bit too overhyped, kinda. <laughs> Maybe yeah. we can get Solas and Aber for the next Are game. they done? That's the to question. Help you. I think I saw Aber. And falls of Eisen! Beautiful! Well done here. We got four games, four maps. Amazing. Yeah. All four maps we are able to get. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. What a final. So, falls of Eisen. Stop betting, guys. <laughs> Chat talk, my man. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> okay. So, Irby 2 and Mr. Smog 1. And it looks like Irby will be picking uh, the Angma faction for the next game. Um, Very nice. Some Angma action. Maybe some Sorcerer action, depending on the matchup. Maybe. But let me go P. Uh, let me go P fast. Maybe in the meantime, Eternal can actually entertain you guys. Wrap back one minute. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Eternal, what do you think about the matchup? Entertain us. Let me check. Angmar, well, smoke went random, so I think Urbi has a great Angmar. I know he's Angmar. We played Angmar Mirror a lot together.
Sorry and thank you for waiting. No problem. I, I am think back. I'm gonna go pee right after. <laughs> Right, so we're gonna pick up Solas for the next game and maybe Avar as well. I would like to. Avar is in the chat. Avar, are you free, my friend? Can you do it? If they can, if they want to, if they have the energy to. Okay, so we're gonna have uh, Goblins against Angma, again, pre picked faction from Erby from Slovenia, having 2 1 lead against Mr. Smog in the grand finals. And this Just is the map one thing Forts of Eisen. Is if Smoke loses this one, it's gonna be very hard for him to come back as he will not be allowed to lose one more time. Yeah, that's you know? true. And it's gonna so... put a lot of pressure. Remember, the first game was won by Mr. Smoke and now two games in a row by Irby. Who's, uh, we have on the left side of the map, the white goblin player from Ukraine, Mr. Smok. And on the right side of the map, we have the yellow Angma player from Slovenia, SDK Irby. I'm so fit right now. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. Yoda back Friendly pro viewers. tipped five dollars. Right, what Aber a generous pirate! It, it Please be forward a to visit no more. Oh my God, man! Thank forward. you so much for the five dollar donation, Yoda. Please, uh, please, Forts of Eisen, no more. Uh, to be honest and to be fair, that's the first time Forts of Eisen here. Uh, yeah, it's the, fine. the first game was uh, on the map Eastfold, then Jungles of Farharat, then Westfold, and yeah, I think one Forts of Eisen pair best of seven series is is something we can all live with. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in for the we had like three donations today dude crazy look i can't i'm just imagining now big bag big make maximini you know with with uh with uh ketchup and mayo gonna be great <laughs> goblin cave right, second so goblin cave <laughs> yeah let's look at at the at the game in the top left we have uh, mr smoke as a white goblin player and in the bottom right, we has we have Herbie as a yellow Angmar player. Both starting double barrack, so double cave and double barrack for Herbie on three meals. Let's note this. This is a bit um, specific. You can totally do it as Angmar. You just you will have a bit of a setback echo, but against goblins and against spam, it's gonna be pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Um, and we have four chants being picked from both the players. They are currently sitting on the exact same command points as well chat so chat twitch chat i'm asking you what do you think about this matchup by the way guys uh um if like mentioned before like um, can talk like mentioned before from eternal if erby manages to win this one he will be only one win away from being the world champion which means he will get 120 dollars and uh, even Indeed. though if you even lose stats the loser of this game will be the second place and he will also get um $50 for himself. And yeah, uh, we have some extrovers joining on the bat uh, joining the battlefields. I mean, they are not going to be bad at all, considering they will be strong against the goblin spam. Rambutan saying, Urban from Slovenia village, take all the energy we got, put Mr. Smoke into the pits that he spawned from, and freeze this community from his tyranny. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. He's spamming that shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see. I mean, he got like a big fan here. This is obviously gonna give him some laughing, smiley face, you know, once he re-watches the stream. 200 viewers, man. What, V? No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. <clears throat> oh my god, man, this is crazy, dude. I, I like, I was speech. What? Uh, I, I wish you could see my face right now. It turns all red. <laughs> guys, thank you so much Bless for you. watching the stream, for tuning in, for sharing your precious time with us today in this beautiful Sunday. Make it even greater. And yeah, thank you so much for that. Appreciate it. And we have a great uh, great final going on as well, by the way. It's quite close. We have 2-1 score for the Slovenian player, Irvi. This is the game number four. We will get at least one more game after this. Depends on the outcome of this game, obviously. Uh, and yeah, it's quite open. I think we can't say anything just yet about the end of this game. Yeah, it's a very nice final, to be honest. Yeah. Both players are evenly matched. So Irvi is stepping up to the level of Mr. Smoke and... Yeah, he's even doing great, so I'm really happy right now. 
Very nice, very nice. Very, very nice. And we have Fijur up uh, on the field. We're gonna get some half troll swordman units on the field from the goblin player Mr. Smog. And Mr. Smog refuses to pick a faction, so he sticks up with his random, which uh, gave him so far two Mordor games and one uh, Man of the West game, and now the Goblin faction. Maybe he just doesn't get the faction he likes to get, uh, because the difference is here that Irby is always pre-picking the faction. He's always picking the faction he wants to play with, which is something he's allowed to, obviously, because it's in the rules. And I'm totally fine with that. And Mr. Smog, if he wants to, can also pick a faction. But so far, he's always pre-picking random instead. And yeah, he will be able... To, uh, the Gundabad warriors will be able to take down this tunnel on the bottom side of the map, which Mr. Smog was trying to get uh, to sneak. Yeah. But he has, on the, the other side, a couple of goblins on the field. Actually, a lot of goblins. Yeah, the bull's building up troops right now. A big push is coming from Mr. Smog's side. Yeah. He's not much ready to answer. To answer, but he has no uh, warchan avo available, side. unlike Irby. Irby yeah, true. currently has 450 command points. He has warchants and five power points collected afterwards. He can pick Felwind or something, which is gonna not be bad against the goblin here. And then we have almost four power points collected from Mr. Smog as well as 550 command points, but he's gonna lose some of them, probably here. Nah. Mr. Smog is doing a, a smart thing here. He's just putting a, his half trolls in defense. While his main arm is attacking, the so Aftros are, do are doing a very great job against Orcs. So it's a very good um, idea to do. So Felvin's Felvin unlocked. Picked. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Will he be able to take down this tunnel? Uh, but the push, you know, if he would have the War Chance ability available, this would be much more successful. Yeah, and indeed. This way he won't be able to finish this mill, unfortunately. But he will be able to take down this one. It could be worse. But could be also much, much better, obviously. Also, smart move from the Angma player, Irby, to not waste his Warchant and to not waste his Felwind. Yeah. Uh, which can be used for the next push from his side. Mr. Smoke picked uh, Bats. Yeah. Not too bad. I think it's good. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very good. Um, he will be able to take yeah, this on as well. Also... It's good. A small trick that you can see here, that we were talking about, uh, Solas was talking about the other day, um, is you see Urbi had a Thrallmaster with no troops, he put it at the end of the river on the far right, and basically he's scouting, so if any troops comes here, you'll see it, well now he moved it because troops are being replenished, so the Thrallmaster will replenish his troop and scout for possible threats, you know, so it's very nice. Okay, Felvin will be used, Warchan will be used from both the players as well as the cave pads from Mr. Smog. But here's some yeah. half troll swordman on the fields. The units are getting debuff from the cave pads. They're gonna lose damage and armor here, but the extra wars are still putting in some nice work. The snow trolls are quite tanky during the whole crown stance. They are not taking too much damage from the debuffed extra wars from Angma player Irby, but he's being outnumbered here. It's just a matter of time. He's gonna lose everything that he has on the field. It's a great fight and great battle here for the Angma player Irby in the middle of the map for of Eisen. And yeah, that might be actually a really deciding move here from Irby winning that fight. Could be. Uh, I think uh, the goblin player is fine though. He has a full tunnel, so... And he has a spider pit, which is and... upgrading to level 2. So the chances yes. that we're gonna see goblin spider riders is quite high. Well, it's a very good build order, as you can see. That's a classic build order from the Goblin. Uh, 3Ks into either Spider Riders or Fisher, and then either Fisher or Spider Riders. So you get all the units from the Goblins, and then you get heroes and maybe Cave Trolls and upgrades and, and so on. But yeah, right now he's, he's gonna be a, he's gonna have a full army, a strong, weak units to harass with Poison Blade, maybe Arches, strong uh, main infantry with the Half Trolls, and then cavalry to counter the all those Axe followers who are putting a uh, very nice work against half trolls so it's gonna force also Angmar to do crappy pikes the crappy riddle pikes we're gonna we are dying to goblins um pretty nicely so it's gonna be very good and the third hall of the kingsman structure is coming up for the Angmar player Irby who has currently almost 10 power points unlocked for himself He's sitting on 600, uh, 700, 675 command points right now because he was losing one of them 
Um, and on the other side, Tainted Land will be used defensively from Mr. Smog. He yeah. himself has currently 675. It's going to be a bit less because he's about to lose this one. And, and he's, ooh, I love Smog. this move. Um, Untamed Allegiance picked for Ubi. I love Untamed Allegiance as Angmar. It gives them the opportunity to get cave trolls and such. And he's going to get it. <laughs> It's gonna, gonna get, get trolls, which is gonna be very bad for the goblin player. He's gonna counter a bit his calf. He's gonna counter his goblin. He's gonna counter his after swordsman, and the goblin will need to make archers. Well, he has two archers units on the field. I didn't three archers units on the field actually, so it's fine. Will he be able ah, to it's fine actually. One there's there is enough archers to counter the troll, but you will be able to use it well. And we've seen in. this move already last game also on the map um, uh, Westwald. Nah, and the map jungles of Ararat, uh -huh. we see that. Yes, yes. From Irby. Indeed. Uh, oh my god. Holy. ISILDUUUDE tip $22. Next to Ramat is gonna what have a, a high pirate. price. Irby, <laughs> I bet you some Spanish pizza. Also, check out NABKING's new maps. A high reward. Uh, Isildut, my friends, Isildut is the one who is the reason why Irby is in the final, by the way, because he gave his own spot to Irby. Exactly. He be, yeah, he would be in the he would be in the group stage with in the group stage B with Eternal, Fairy, and uh, Zirael and someone else. Uh, Irby, I think. Uh, but he gave his spot to Irby, and Irby needs to say a big thanks to Isildut because he's about to win one hundred twenty dollars bec uh, because of that. And in the meantime, Isildut dropping twenty two bucks here in this channel. Thank you so much for that, my friend. Appreciate it. And yeah, all this gonna be ne used for the next tournament as a cash prize. Thank you, Isildut. Thank you very much for the community. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. Two hundred one viewers. Holy crap! Wow. This is crazy, guys. If you're watching that over at Twitch, and if this is your first time here, which I'm thinking it is, <laughs> please make sure to hit that follow button, guys, uh, to not miss any future t uh, content based on the Battle for Middle Earth games. And if you are watching that over at YouTube, and if this is your first time here, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Goblin Stories, thank you so much for the follow, my man. Appreciate it. Yo ho ho ho, Goblin Trees just became a Ooh, pirate. Ooh, look at that, he used uh, Snowbind on the cave troll lair to yeah. pro prevent it from dying and prevent smoke from, well, destroying it and getting the the treasure, you know, that those um, layers that you get with anti Legions are always so uh, fragile and, um, like, if you don't reinforce it with towers or something, it's such a good target for the enemy as he gets treasure from that, so it's very nice. Use yeah. of the freezing of the snowbind. Oof, this is a bad positioning here with the spider riders. He's really yeah. in a bad situation here. He's gonna. Ah, uh, never mind. He's gonna get away. Actually, he was expecting to be it too much, ah, much, much worse. He will, he will try to get it. Oh, never mind. Ah, uh, it's too risky. But he has the white man of Dunland special summon ready. Might be used here, but he's not gonna go for it. Um, Ooh, look at that! This troll level three is one HP. He's gonna die to the poison, maybe. I don't know. Man, if he dies from the poison, F in the chat, guys. <laughs> no, he will survive. Not even I close. Look, he's overrunning trees. Get me insane. Oh, wait. He's gonna die. Oh, no. my God. He's no. gonna die. <laughs> Feels Batman. Oh, my God. Yeah, everyone here always calls the trolls Bobby, so I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. Interesting. Interesting chat. Um, yeah, this is going to be a great game. We have the PowerPoints wise. It's just going to take a look into it. So Mr. Smog from Ukraine has War Chant, Tainted Land, Cave Pads, and Wildman of Tanland Special Summon, which was just used here. They are running around this side. On top of that, he was able to collect three and a half more PowerPoints for himself. Sitting currently on 725 command points. And we have... On the right side, the yellow Angmar player Erby from Slovenia has uh, eight and a half power points collected after having Warchant, Snowbind, Felwind, and this ability I can't not I cannot announce, and six hundred command points available. And he has All still right, this so troll thing under his control and getting more and more of these cave trolls on the field. Smoke is trying to creep the bottom left layer to prevent Erby from getting the. Oh, Erby is still gonna go for it though. I don't know about that. 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, he doesn't have any. And he just lost a troll there to Azok. Oh, there was Azog. I didn't see Azog in there, All right? Yeah, he looks, looks like a, he looks <laughs> like a goblin. You know, you can see him quite nicely. Yeah. And um, wasted for PowerPoint, wasted um, cave troll. So the chances yeah, that we see a two-two kind of thing is is pretty high actually now, or? Yeah, definitely. Look yeah, what yeah, is he yeah. doing with the cave troll Everybody's there? He's losing too much trolls. He made too much trolls and he's losing too much. Um, he's gonna die now. He was splitting too much a bit. Like he didn't make uh, significant pushes. And now uh, Smoke is sitting on three tunnels of all three untouched. Yeah. And Spider Ally special summon here from Herbido. For defensive. Now nah, for from Mr. Smoke, I mean. Sorry, yeah. from Mr. Smoke. That's nice. He's even gonna cripple Ubimo. Smoke is literally on 850 command points while Ubi is only on 525. Yeah. The difference is being felt here. And there's a difference, by the way, chat, between a cave troll and a mountain troll. Remember how the mountain troll works. He has to find an orc and eat ability, right? So you can actually recover yourself. Unlike a yeah. cave troll, yes, you can pick a goblin or an orc, but you can throw them only. You can't yes, eat exactly. them to regenerate your health, if you didn't know that. Because I did not know that. <laughs> yeah. All right, the, the top right. The is quite good. It's good. It deals a lot of damage, practically insta kill your enemy. So if you can get a good throw of goblin or or orc in a clump of enemies, it can literally unstack kill an army. Well, it's quite rare, but it can happen. Yeah. And it also terrifies uh, applied terror to those uh, troops. So it's, it's gonna split the enemy army and deal a lot, of, a lot of damage. So even if it's clunky to use, it's very good. Yeah, but on the, on this in this moment, he has only one really badly damaged cave troll on the field, which was just able to take one of the tunnels on the enemy side of the map. And now he has yeah. one who also, he's also quite low. I think uh, this is GG, yeah, my friend. I think so as well. I think so Big as well. Coming. Maybe Cannot he should defend. have gone for the Dark Rangers a bit sooner. Um, maybe. Maybe he was just over investing over resources yeah. for the cave trolls. Exactly. He was over committing with the cave trolls. He was splitting too much. I didn't. I, I was. I admit I was not so focused in the mid game. I missed a bit of the actions, to be honest. But I, I think he uh, had why he, pushes. Why did he use the Snowbind on a level 1 of all of the Kingsmen? Mm. And white special summon also from Erby for defensive purposes, so everything pretty much blows, blown uh, yes. up here for the defense. Yeah, and he's just using whatever he can to survive here. Yeah, but he's gonna Bringing lose one of life. these mills. Actually, those whites and dark rangers are putting in some nice work. They are also really close to level two. Ah, oh, but they're gonna die now to the spider it's riders. All right. The commands to 21, it's fine, man, because it's gonna be 2 2 and you will be able to see the next three games potentially. You'll be calling the GG. The Necromancer, my man. Don't worry, we have at least two more games to go. Yeah. Two more games to go. At least. Oh, yeah, yeah, two more, sorry. I mean. I mean, at maybe least, three if there least. is a fourth, fourth three. You know? Yeah. That's, I mean, that's why I'm saying at least two more games to go. Yeah, since at least, we have yeah. To, we have 2-2 two, two now. I mean, it's really close, man. I was expecting and hoping for a final like this. I'm really happy yeah. about it. Yeah. And we're gonna spin our wheel again. Remember what Yoda said. Yoda doesn't want to see the thoughts of Eisen again. So <laughs> let's see if he's gonna be lucky as we're gonna spin our wheel. Jungles of Farharat, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice. This is uh, the map where Urbi came back and was like, "Okay, you're not gonna, you're not gonna win this tournament, Smoke. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Maybe he's gonna pick Goblin again. Maybe. Uh, we are waiting for him to join the room, and then we are ready to go. It was the best day for the channel, Goblin Stories. I never had such a beautiful uh, streaming experience like today. Then really, really." Thankful for that, guys. Grateful for that. It's only possible because of you guys. Erby from Slovenia village. Take all the energy we got. Put Mr. Smoke into the pits he's spawned from. And free the community from his tyranny. Smoke, take my energy. <laughs> we have so we have a split community there. Ones are sporting Mr. Smoke, the other ones are cursing Mr. Smoke. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but, I, but, I want but, the smoke version of this text. Yeah, <laughs> let's see. 
Um, spam this baby to help Ubi. <laughs> <laughs> spam this baby to... <laughs> <laughs> Solas. Oh, we want it. Actually, uh, let's pick up Solas. Um, so, oh, yes. Let's yes, pick up yes. Solas. Go GR. And maybe Aber. Aber said he didn't want to put too much uh, observer. But maybe, I mean, it should be fine. You all have a good con, so. Yeah. I mean, it should not be a big deal because it's the final and we have an even score. Let's la let's cast. Let's make this even if bigger. Like 212 can... viewers, by the way, guys. Let's make this even yeah. bigger than it already is. Uh, join us, Solas. If it starts lagging, I'll leave since I already casted four games. So it will Sh shouldn't be start, like one shouldn't less start lagging, though. Just join the stream channel, guys. Oh my god! <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Oh my god! Hasake Fingma just gifted five subs. Hisoka of Angma, my man, gifting five subs to the community. And the lucky ones are. Uh, Bezi Nazi Dru, Horrible Dreamer, Espiquar. Doggy96 and MQS1234. Guys, congratulations to your beautiful new pirate badge and to this beautiful emotes now you have unlocked because of the generous gifting subs here from our lovely friend Hisoka of Angma. I need to open more spots, obviously, right? Coop4, thank you so much for the follow, guys. What's happening today? <laughs> Yo-ha-ha-ho, Quirk4 just became a pirate. Quirk4 becoming a pirate and then immediately subbing to the channel. Quirk4 just subscribed. Thank Welcome you. to be on Standard's crew. <laughs> thank you so much for the sub, my friend. Appreciate it. The Necromancer21, thank you so much for the sub as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Crazy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, plebs. <laughs> look, look who's here. Look, he's here, guys. We have Solas here. Is Abar coming as well? That's the question. Watch out. No. Then a Commander 21 entering the ship. We're not going to have Ahoy, an 8 matey. player 1v1. One one. Okay. Sorry, X6 Platz. We, we got we to gotta go. Um, I'm really, I don't like, I don't want to be rude, but okay. He's, he just left by himself, so it's okay. Right, guys. <laughs> Solas, what do you think about the series so far? By the way, guys, if you don't know Solas, then what the heck are you doing in Rise of the Witch King, first of all? <laughs> <laughs> now, Solas is being a uh, Rise of the Witch King expert. Oh, uh, there is a random guy who joined. Yeah, we can kick well, him we'll out just of the room. kick him, yeah. yeah. Uh, jungles of Farharati this is going to be. Thank you so much yeah, for, the, for the uh, follow, the Necromancer 1. Coop4, thank you so much for the follow and for the prime sub. Appreciate it. Hisoka, thank you so much for the five gifted subs as well. And Solas, thank you so much for tuning in and casting with us. I need to thank so many times, dude. I'm not used to that. <sighs> Solas, say hello to Fingon. Uh, Fingon, hi. <laughs> Look, they are, say, they are saying about you that you are the Dark Lord of the Rise of the Witch King, Solas. Why not? Solas is gonna, he's gonna do uh, some... Uh, um, oh my god, how do you call that? Um, signature. Signature, you know, like, um, okay, Solas, can you say hi to me and then I'll register? Okay, this will be one dollar. Hi, Fingon. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have also a, sh uh, a show a match between the winner of this tournament, in this case, between the winner of the World Championship and Solas, but not today. Not today. Um, Solas and me, uh, I was asking him already. It depends also of the, on the winner of this tournament, obviously. But I'm gonna, I'm planning to do that. Fat Cat, who's Fat Cat? Oh, he's a Russian streamer, I think. Oh yeah. Look, oh, he's saying wh what is he doing? Uh, some message not, for Russian. Yeah, just kick him, kick him. It's not the real Fat Cat. It's a random guy on. Uh, Who are we missing here? We are missing here. Irby. Uh, we are missing someone. Or no, we don't miss. Uh, Okay, jungle yeah, so far. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a smurf guy, I don't know, just kick him. 
Guys, this is gonna be the game number five. This time on the map, Jungle of Far Harad, which means we're gonna get to see at least two times Jungle of Far Harad in total of the best of seven series. Uh, so far, quite even. Two, two, and in Igor, three, Wolf. Thank you so much for the follow, appreciate it. Oh, hold on. I forgot to pause this. Yo, ho, ho, ho. Igor, three, Wolf just became a pirate. Uh, yeah, what do you think, Solas, about the last game? I was pretty hyped uh, of Ubi coming back like that. Uh, there's no coming back against Toftral Swordsman. <laughs> uh, it's tr true. You need Dark Rangers. If you don't have Dark Rangers by yeah. then, you're dead. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Uh, like the moment the Cav came out and no bikes were out and too much, all those um, axe rovers were dead. Guys, no one second, sorry that I interrupt you. Irvi needs to pee. In the meantime, let oh. me go pee as well. And chat has oh some questions God. to Solas. So Solas, okay, my... Solas, I'll leave you too. I'm going to pee too. <laughs> Solas, my friends, uh, look, Rambutan is saying I want Solas explaining why Eisen versus Dwarfs is a bad, bad matchup for the Dwarfs. Uh, what? Again? Uh, Rambutan is asking you that he wants you to explain why Isengard versus Dwarfs is a bad matchup for the Dwarf faction. Be right back, one minute. Uh, okay. Um, the only reason why you should, why you could argue that it's bad for Dwarf is because Isengard has three day buffs that all nullify leadership and also day buff, which is Creepane, Freezing Rain, and Grima's Venomous Words. Those day buffs are very strong against Dwarfs, but otherwise, I think it's a perfectly fine matchup. I think Dwarf just has to build a couple of towers to deal with the day, to deal with the day buffs. So I don't think it's super favored. Pineapple on pizza? Okay, listen. The thing is, when I'm in the mood for pizza, then I'm not thinking of freaking pineapples. It's a decent pizza, but when I'm in the mood for it, I, I'm not thinking of that. You know what I mean? Next question. Why, when I come back, I hear Solas talking about pizza, talking strategy about pizza, like, okay, pull the pizza. I'm talking eternal. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fish on pizza, I think it's only acceptable with uh, tuna, but I'm not a fan of that either. How much it take to level up from zero to my level in 2.02? Slow down, guys. Slow down. You, uh, your level? Yeah. 10 years. <laughs> or no. one year every day. You play every day. No, if you're as stupid as me as a teenager, then it, it takes you 10 years. Uh, if you change one thing about Raz Witch King, what would it be? Hmm. Good question. I mean, within the realm of realistic stuff um i mean off of leg of course but that's not realistic i can't do that i'm more thinking about a design thing uh ah yeah i would give angma a snowing weather ability instead of the uh free rain. rain yeah just yeah. like a, a real blizzard so would be so good. Panther is asking if I think elves are the strongest. I think no. My favorite faction is Engmar. Really? Yeah. The best oh value God. for money unit in the game are hobbits, Trucky. All right, boys, I'm back. Shut up, friend. <laughs> oh, friend is here. Okay, I think that's the end of the question round. Let's start. Let's start with the game number five. Jungles Farharat. Dwarves will be picked, pre-picked from Irby. Again, random faction from Mr. Smok. Can we also uh, appreciate, guys, in the chat, the organization for the tourney, for this tourney, for friend tourney, for all the tourney we make. It's a lot of work, so... Thanks to Thran, thanks to Beyond Standards, thanks to everyone who puts work into the terrain. You can thank yourself. Don't be shy. 
yeah um, thank yourself and thank you to you guys also in the community i mean this is everyone is doing something for the community you know and i think we need to appreciate every single one of us like i said also a couple of uh, streams ago we are an alpha community dude we are the best okay and we need to just stick yeah. up together and then we can create awesome uh, you know amazing content and uh, just keep this game as long alive as we possibly can until we die and maybe you know teach our children to play it as well unfortunately if a daughter she's one year old i don't think that she will have interest to play on video games but you never know you know she will have interest for rise of the <laughs> <laughs> uh, so guys solas and eternal what do you guys think about dwarf mirror in general and what kind of difference makes does it make you know between a map like forts oh, of yeah. eisen and between a map like jungles of farharat best mirror matchup by far because it is the the dwarfs are so slow that it matters more about strategic choices than execution. I think that's a nice change of pace. Okay, and um, we have obviously rallying cold starts here from Mr. Smock. Irby didn't pick anything just yet. I don't think that you have much more options to start with. I mean, rebuild or heal does not make too much sense in a dwarven mirror, I guess. Um, and um, do you remember Irby versus Imperialist? Actually, Irby is doing the exact same start here, uh, on the exact same spot as well. Yeah, he's he's going to do green. a troll creep start, and he has the third mine shaft in his base. But look, yeah. the builder from Mr. Smock, though, he's ready to scout Ooh. that. Contest? No, it's just. Stream snipe? <laughs> uh, I think he should attend, try to. Well, now Irby saw it, but. But Mr. To, Smoke is doing the same thing, you know. He's just doing yeah. the exact same thing at the top right side of the map. And he oh, was what? using rallying core for that. Fuck, Irby. <laughs> oh, he wants he wants to creep fast and destroy the mine, maybe. But I, uh, <laughs> I'm this not sure about that. You should go for the mine right now if he uses rallying. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and take the loot with the builder and kill the mine with the pikes. But it's too late now. Oh, yeah. what the fuck, Irby? That is a throw. <laughs> You can't use rallying call like that. Yeah. Mm, the builder will get in safety just by entering the mineshaft anyway, so there is no. You don't need to be worried about that. The guardians they will oh, be man. winning with one v one against the spikes anyway, even without the rallying call. It seems. Okay, Irby just has to force a rallying call out of Smock right now, and then he has to run. Yeah. Exactly. Ah, but he was able to take down the mineshaft at the end of the day. But. Mr. Smog was able to get two Guardians and a Pikeman to the side of Irby. That's actually big. And look so at that, Smoke... he has a Mineshaft around this side as well. So If Smog uses the Rallying Call right now, then he's a little bit dumb. But if he's not, then that's very smart of him. Because he knows he can abuse that <laughs> window right now. <laughs> yeah. That's massive, actually. Abba is already saying GG next game, please. <laughs> yeah. So toxic. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, Irby is choosing to go for the second hall, and Smok is 100% saving for Brand right now. Yeah. Yeah. As well as Irby. Oh, Brand is already is out for Irby. Okay, I'm gonna retire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? I didn't see that. Okay. In this case, where is Smok's Brand? What is he delaying it for? Yeah. Um, but he has still units around this side, but he won't be able to deal uh, too much damage. He was able to sneak a mineshaft on the bot side, as you can see. You barely see it on the minimap, though. Uh, where the I'd is. like to see banners pur purchased from Urbi. Oh, Especially I after that rally call, uh, he missed the window, so... I think I know what happened. Um, the rallying call was used outside of Smok's vision. And if it's used outside of his vision, he never knows that these pikes were buffed. Uh, you, so don't Smok see does... this? You, you don't see that? The animation? Oh, really? Yeah. Smog doesn't know that it's been used. Oh. Sometimes it's is... buggy, yeah. That's what's going on. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, I think you're right. And so another war like, creep will be skewed no, by the yellow dwarf player, Irby. 200 IQ. And uh, so far, Smog has burned a lot of guardians trying to harass, but Brand is picking them all off. Yeah. And does Smog yeah. still not have his own brand? At the end of the day, Radic Urbi Radical is ready now, so. Yeah. Uh, Saba Rider, that's welcome to totally the stream. worth it. Now, it's a lucky, but it's worth it. 
So I guess this game is even now. Yeah. Both on 450 CP. I, I would even say it's a bit in the advantage of... Ah, uh, wait. Never mind, never mind. They, are, they have pretty much the exact same power points and the exact same command points. Even though uh, Irby has currently 450 and Mr. Smog was able to get 500. But Irby is building another mineshaft, so it's quite equal. It's a very nice mirror. Bulls brand, Bulls uh, going double barracks. Rebuild will be picked, actually, from... Mr. Smog. Okay. Yeah. He's, He's gonna going use it for, here. Uh, industry. Oh, why wow. didn't, why he, use didn't it there? he use it here? Yeah. What? Yeah, the? I don't understand why he didn't use it. Here. Interesting also, choice. Also, I think this is one of the maps matchups where going for riches is not the super obvious choice yet. I think Hobbit Summon is still a bit too strong to not go for that first. Yeah, okay, especially Rally against will be brand. used from Mr. Smog here. When there is no range units, two bits are so good. Either in your army or against... Oh, Brand, Brand is getting a little bit deep in there. Never mind. Ooh, we get yeah. away. Uh, to all of, Brand all are... of Warriors for both the players, by the way. Yeah. But what do you think, guys, about Battle Wagons in this mirror here between the wars? Um, they're only good to force Brand to shoot at them until they have to retreat. So they basically just... They are not good at all take... in this case. Uh, they are, of course, good. They're battle wagons, but uh, Brand will force them away, always. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. But I think if you go Zelos, for example, and you have a battle wagon with uh, heal, I mean, um, dwarves, uh, what? no, I, pff, what? my English is broken. Heal, let's say. It, it's good because it will recover them pretty quickly, but of course it's later in the game. Mm-hmm. Um, um, yeah, there is a difference between the choices of the power points and great micro here from the blue dwarf player was able to take down one of the most important mineshafts here between the Hall of Warriors from Irby. And yeah, Irby chose the heal ability while Mr. Smog was choosing the rebuild. Mr. Smog 525 command points, 550 command points, the same amount of po command points also for Irby. Also, um, the yeah. banners has be have been purchased, so that's exactly. what I was thinking. I exactly. really like this move. Yeah, by Irby actually, yeah. And but yeah. Mr. Smog didn't go for it, right? No. No. Irby still doesn't know about this uh, mineshaft mine chart on the left. Yeah, that's it's getting pre pretty out of hand. Yeah. Yeah, it's close and it's. I mean, a good push from that could be bad. But as you can see, the banner are doing the work. But he was not even using the charge attack ability with one of these. Uh, yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, you're right. With one of these, he's forgot. But yeah, yeah you're right. So I'm pretty sure Irby is going to reach Hobbit Summon first here, and I'm not even sure if Smok is going to counterpick his own Hobbits, but he probably will have to for defensive reasons. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, uh, Banner Carry is a huge power spike for those Guardians. They're not, on again, they're not only going to get stronger naturally, but they will be unlocking build, the charge attack as well. Oh, build. build a kill in the middle. It's in the chat, please. <laughs> Lol. From, from Mr. Smok, yeah. Mr. Smok's yeah, builder has yeah, been taken yeah, yeah. down. Irby even used the charge attack to kill it. <laughs> this is looking good for Irby. Uh, he's going to have Hobbit Summon while he will still be pressuring this double hall spot. Yeah. And this may just break smoke. I really like the fact that he has banners right now. He's using yeah. it all the time. And the good thing with banners is it's like it's trans you can you don't even need to heal after that. Like you get banners, you retreat, you recover and then you go mm -hmm. back. How much the banner so, carry upgrade cost actually? Uh, 400 only. It's not ex even expensive considering that you need to only invest 100 for each battalion. Exactly. Yeah. It makes your guardian unit 400 at the end, but it's so much oh. worth it. Here comes the Hobbit summon with the rallying call. That's gonna end the game, I think. Oh uh, yeah. Oh my god. This is GG. Yeah. This is gonna be massive now. Rallying call. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys. Rallying call here. Plus the Hobbit special summon from Irby. Heal is also available in the worst case scenario. Oh uh, yeah, Goblin is saying, Irby throw, uh, is re reminding, Irby throw, you should surrender now, lol. And now he's saying, Irby is winning. <laughs> 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 That's right, guys. Never call the game before, even if we call it first, but don't r remind us. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I take all the credit for his victory because we practiced yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, obviously that's really important. Uh, but Mr. Smog was practicing also, I think, against DJP or something. Someone? 
DJ would yeah. never do that. No. Um, not against the DJ, but I saw him practice. Uh, don't remember with who. I mean, both players. I right, saw so Urbi and Smoke spamming games today early in the afternoon. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Smoke was spamming a lot of only ones. Yeah, Urbi and, and Smoke both had lobbies and were like, okay, both one v one is they staring at each other in game ranger. <laughs> Dwar when riches will be pictures. Why not? From Mr. Smoke, it's not gonna do anything. He's trying to get some uh, tower expansions here. But as we know, those guardians, they are hitting like a truck on this fortress. This King Branch, one health, one health here. Will he be able to get away? <laughs> Mary, Mary and Frodo are able to take him down. What a oh meme. Oh my god. Nice. So, Urbi is on match point. Um, Urbi will be 3-0. Uh, sorry, no, 3-2. Three 3-2, two. Three two, yeah, match point is Sola set. After this game, Irby needs to win only one more game. Yes. Um, if he wins the next game, obviously, Irby will be the world championship. W world champion, not champion. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting it. <laughs> uh, but Mr. Smoke has still a chance. He needs to win the game, the next game, no matter what. But yeah, I mean, to be honest, uh, Mr. Smoke is always picking random faction. Uh, maybe, especially next game when he's, you know, <clears throat> um, really in a bad, sp bad spot, maybe he should be picking a faction he likes to play with. Ooh, look at that! Sea Jammers! <laughs> GG. Very nicely played. I love the banners, man. As a dwarf, I kind of forget about the banners, and last time I saw Irby use them, while well, it was. In the semi-finals, he used, remember, um, uh, Shanks was um, uh, Friday, he used them pretty well against Imperialist, doing a very nice push. Solas was there to cast with you, and I was yeah. like, damn, this, I love this move. Like, he, he just purchased Banner just for one fight and won, won him the fight. Yeah, especially on a map that doesn't have an in, so instead of investing the money into Hobbits, you it's definitely well invested into Banners instead. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is the breakpoint when you see the final score. Until this point, they were pretty much even, but then, you know, look at that. And those, yeah. little, those little mistakes, they cost you at the end of the day, the game. And, yeah, he had the power point lead. He was, you know, making great use of that with the Hobbit special summon into the Rallying Coal. Didn't more give creativity. Opportunity. Yeah, definitely. More creativity, more, much, much better use of the assets and IQ. <laughs> Definitely. Also, let's... great choice here to go for the for the banner carry upgrade. Yeah, let's see if Smoke, uh, because now Smoke, has, if he lose next, he lose the tourney. So he has to step up. He has to do something now. He has to win. Otherwise, yeah. he's out. So let's Definitely. see if he picks. Let's see what what is his plan of action right now. Westfold, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, for the game number six in the grand final. Very nice. I like that we always get new maps right now, you know, because back in the like um, group stage and everything, um, we we often had uh, the same map, you know. Oh yeah, you need to open one more. I did. Um, Let's so just start with without Irby. Mr. Smoke, we are, we are missing Irby. Yeah, Irby missing. Where is Derby? We're at 208 viewers and El Rohir is at 108 viewers. We are at more than 300 viewers on the tourney, guys. This is... This is insanity, though. Really. Is this uh, GSL? Sorry? Hello? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Crazy. But to be honest, also the last streams when uh, we were casting together with Solas, we had like almost 100 all the time. <clears throat> so it's always crazy yeah. to have uh, really high numbers like this. Um, that means apparently there are so many people actually interested in content of Rise of the Witch King. And yeah. thank you so much. Also for the follow now, Prex Peri... Prex Prairiraxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxx
is that everyone in chat please subscribes to Aber. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, uh, Jim, thank you so much for the follow as well. Yo ho ho ho. Basically, Jim just became a pirate. Oh shit. Show and Stormcrow oh 1231, thank you so much for the follow. And Alvin Mirror, someone was predicting it. It had to happen. In the final Yo, game. Ho, ho, ho. Oh Storm my god. Crow 12, the Potent just final became game. a pirate. Do they want to re? Nah. Nah, we just gonna do Maybe it. Maybe Smoke will win. Alright guys, on the right side of the map, we have the green Elven player, Mr. Smog. We need to also keep in mind that the least favorite faction of Mr. Smog was the Elven faction. But that doesn't... Let me make a call. I yeah. want to make a call quickly. Smog is going to do stable delete. Just saying. Oh. Okay. Let me see. I think Urbi is gonna scout with his builder. Look at this. Oh, no. Nah, he's ah, going for the third mile on track. Oh, double. Oh, what? No. I'm okay. disappointed. Urbi is doing <laughs> the stable did it. <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> Wrong player. <laughs> Wrong player. <laughs> so Urbi has the upper hands right now, chat. He has three wins against Mr. Smok, and he's only one win away. If he wins this Elven Mirror, he will be the world champion. And Mr. Smog needs to win that no matter what. If he wants to be able to win this tournament for himself, he needs to win two games in a row. Starting with this beautiful matchup here, Alvin Mirror on the map, Westfold. I like so. your uh, sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> Stable Elite is really strong in Elven Mirrors, by the way. Uh, people are not really aware or talking about it, but I think it's a very strong opener. Yeah, I love it. Especially uh, now with Lorien Warriors start from Mr. Smok, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. if, if they meet, and uh, they probably will, because the cab will be out sooner than the swords, the swords will die. If you have any experience in this matchup, then you don't send your swords through the middle, because it's a freaking mirror, so the best yeah. you can yeah. achieve is meet the same unit, the worst you can achieve is meet lances, so you should send yeah. them through the side. Yeah, definitely. I hope he will do that right now, otherwise... He's moving oh. through the middle. Well, ah, <laughs> don't do it. What's the yeah. point? Rip. Maybe he's not thinking. Yeah, bye bye. Hello, Even Darkness, Trump. my old friends. Salt, o Salt over those Lorien, please. <laughs> what is this clamp, though? This, he's actually killing Look, a few. It needs a couple of uh, four hits, actually. Four tramples. Oh, uh... he, he killed two, but two uh, lancers, actually. Somehow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what the fuck? But, uh, now the main just question is how tree. effective it's gonna be because the sentries, they're gonna be on the field pretty soon. Uh, Cav is coming up now. Rallying call, why not rallying call? And the stable from Mr. Smok is also coming up. Yeah, I don't know why there is no rallying call yet. Maybe Linden's? I'll oh, just maybe. No, never mind. Without rallying call, this is a wasted attack, I think. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah, not yeah. getting any eco. It took him four tramples to kill the swords, so the pikes are out now. Yeah. He's losing time. He's losing time and not dealing too much damage. Also smart by Mr. Smog to make a wall up there to deny yeah. him from attacking this side. Good wall hub. Maybe another wall up here now? Please? Yeah. Not even need? Yeah, here we go. Good. Yeah, he's just dancing around. Can't really do much, but the archers are protectless. <laughs> oh my goodness. But they yeah. don't die though. It's fine, it's fine. He didn't use aggressive stance on the horses, that's why they live. No, uh, he put it the arches on all ground. The horses were in aggressive. Okay. Now they won't they be able to, kill, to finish the Malon tree. Um, yeah, this cab is still alive, but they didn't do much, I agree. Oh, and they're gonna die. Oh, never mind. Okay, in a good micro. Yeah. In the meantime, I mean, Irby is creeping on the bottom left side, chat. Yeah. And rallying call for both the players is still available. Irby has two what? power points collected and 0.5 power points here for Mr. Smog. He needs a statue right now. Yeah, no statue die. And what could have turned out very bad for Smog is actually turning turn good because of no rally call. Use for Mirby, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But rallying call will be definitely gonna... used now from Mr. Smog yeah. here. This Let's see how much is damage. Be deadly to Irby. There is only archers, can be trampled, no pikes around. Yeah, let's and see. yeah, I mean, no calf to trample the all the archers. Oh, now the troops are coming back, but uh, I Sorry. think Smoke waited a bit too long. Also, classic Irby making a few too many archers here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's a trait of the SDK clan. Rambo <laughs> is doing that as well. He's gonna use Rallying Call now defensively, obviously. Yeah, I think he can hold. Yeah, I will hold now. Smoke was uh, taking too long in his push, in my opinion. Nice ah, micro here with no. the spikes from Irby, though. But he's losing many, many arches here to Mr. Smoke in the meantime. Mm. He's losing many archers here. And he's trying to focus for them. But he needs to, uh, Mr. Smog needs to retreat level now. Two, both level 2, those archers, so it's they will fine get away. to... Yeah. That's actually good. And 5 power points collected was... from Irby. 3 power points only from Mr. Smog. So Irby has the upper hand still. He has the mirror of Galadriel. He will be recovering with those units anyway. Yeah. What I don't went think wrong? Was... Yeah. Go, go on. What went wrong here is that... And you see that in many games, Smog was greedy and wanted the trample on the archers. Instead yeah. of just going for farms with the two lances that had a rallying call. Exactly. Just, just go for the eco damage and you won't regret your tournament life after this. Yeah, I agree. That's what I thought. That's why I was like, just throw the rallying call in this for the farm already because uh, the troops were... The archers was... Only one archers was out. All the other troops were out of position in the creep. So I was like, just go now, you know? Yeah. And destroy the farm. And Irby, now in the meantime, will be taking the troll in the middle of the map, as well as Mr. Smoke is going to take the uh, Vork Riders, Vork Liars on the bottom right side. So the troll money should definitely go into Haldir for Irby. Yeah, he has currently 900 resources, so can easily save for that. But he's gonna lose one of these Malone trees. This is a good match, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Seven power points collected from Irby. And four power points collected from Mr. Smog. 450 command points for Mr. Smog. 500 command points for Irby. Oh, this is going to be a good fight for Irby, I think. He's catching a minority of Smog's army. Uh, yeah. Ooh, maybe but, a good but trample. But Lancers? Here. Lancers? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, my um, God. But? Oh, no, he's committing. He lost the cabinet there. But he's going to take down archers. Okay, this Ooh, went... Okay. This went surprisingly been well for Mr. Smog, I gotta say. Heal has been used by his boss both players. Help He's going for block. another trample. Good block, yeah, indeed. He blocked the cab with the other cab. Oh my god. Uh, Smog lost too much cab, to yeah, be honest. He lost He's almost a lot everything. Of both lost a lot. Yeah. Uh, he was able... Uh, I mean, Smog actually catched even up here with the power points during this fight. I mean... And they have the same yeah. amount of command points currently. Smoke lost all his calf, but Urbi has still his three battalions, man. Look, he's mm -hmm. like... So yeah, but Smoke, like, has, Smoke has also two battalions of calf still. He lost only one. Two? Oh, okay, I thought he lost two. Okay, that's fine. To be honest, none of that matters a lot right now. Because everything can heal up. They are very even on economy. They can trade units what they want. Yeah. What matters is who gets a hero. The hero is going to make the difference, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Which hero is going to be? I'd love to see an air one, but <laughs> yeah, props to Belenorian. <laughs> there we go, Haldir for smoke. All yeah. right, good choice, classic. I think an air one, like kind of rush, would be amazing. Is that Arvin, just please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Haldir for both, and Irby's army is quite a bit bigger, right? Yeah, you are right, Goblin Stories. By the way, guys, if this is your first time here, please make sure to join our Discord community as well. All you gotta do is just press exclamation mark Discord in the chat. A link will approach and just click on that link. Like, abracadabra, you are in the Discord. Then you can Irby get is notifications. Catching, Irby is catching part of Smog's army right now. He sandwiched it. Yeah, he will be killing all of them. But they, are still, they have still the buff, so... It looks like they will get away. But he will be losing the small on tree there. But look at that in uh, Solas. He has a massive army here in front. Uh, he has a statue coming up, a mirror of Galadriel healing up those uh, almost dead units. Mm -hmm. So the defender's advantage in this matchup is pretty huge. And uh, when there's a statue, you need to avoid it, I think. Yeah. That's uh, what we saw in the Rumble against. The samurai and samurai just went. Oh wait! Oh, be was careful it with this level three. Or... 
don't remember, but basically the player just falls. Oof, don't, don't trample, don't trample, don't trample. Oh my god. Aldir is on the field? Yeah, for both of them. Yeah. Players. But he has the Irby stitch in the back, to... though. He has the stitch in the back. Yeah. Irby just needs to go a little bit back until smoke is out of range. Yeah. Radical right. has been uh, war off. Yeah, for both the players. He's looking for a trample. Irby is trying to micro with his spikes to keep those archers. Oh! Nice trample, but I, I don't like the all the, um, the experience he's giving to Aldir. Entrouding Mist will be used from uh, Irby, but uh, Albin Wood is ready from Mr. Smok. Hmm. In the meantime, Irby is also harassing. Um, Smok is not, so Smok is losing eco. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. But Irby's gonna lose a lot of units here coming from the middle. I think this Cav... If you want to keep Cav, you should get upgrades. That's just... Uh, one thing... I would, Aldir! Um, Aldir, 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 Aldir! Oh my god, almost Oh my god. Because all this Cav is giving a lot of experience to um, Aldir. He's already level 4 for Irby. And look, oh, yeah. all those archers are still alive. None of the battalions died to those yeah. trample, so... He also used heal, but on the other side, Mr. Smog has also a Aldir who is almost level 4. Uh, level 5 is gonna be the uh, level they're gonna aim for to unlock the leadership. Oh, Build it dead. Yep, XT. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> um, yeah, but on the other side, Mr. Smog has his Alvin Wood ability available. And Mist will be on cooldown now. Uh, Mist was kinda, I don't know about that, because he did, has, he did have some arches around, but to be honest, he didn't have any units to pressure the structures. Yeah. Here we go. Glowfinger oh. on the field. Mm -hmm. But Smoke went for a little bit earlier Mercs, but uh, Irby has them too now. So I think Irby is just always a little bit ahead in this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's keeping his troops alive. Level 3 Archer Battalion. Level f uh, 4 Aldir. So one more level and leadership will be available. Only criticism I have is that there's still no statue for Irby. That's very dangerous. Yeah. Ooh, looking and for a trample. This, this cab is... I mean, if you can follow it up with a good oh, attack Glorfindel, with your army... Glorfindel, watch Glorfindel. The archers oh are... Oh my god, up. oh my god, oh my god! Get in there, get in oh there. Oh no, <laughs> look at that! Oh no. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god, oh so juicy. Level 3. Craigasm in the chat, Craigasm in the chat. Does he have heal? <sighs> oh my god. Level, Level four, 4 instantly. Okay, that's GG. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, two hundred dollars on the Glowfindel move? No, please no. <laughs> People are still gonna cry about elves and Glowfindel. <laughs> Glowfindel gonna die though, or? Yeah, yeah. it's worth it. Oh yeah, it's worth it even if he's staying. So you see, guys, he's not invincible at all. But <laughs> if you place badly your troops, he's gonna punish you. But it's you not, for it's this. not GG yet. Come on, guys. Uh, yeah, actually, he's losing. Lol. <laughs> yeah, he's losing still. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> Just say, take a look onto the on, in the map control. Yeah, but at least um, we will stop people from saying shit yeah. about elves. <laughs> Alvin Wood will be used offensively here from Mr. Smog. Here's Mirk Woods now on the field with the buff rallying call from both uh, the players is on cooldown. So Irby just counterpicked Elven Woods, but he was very close to Eagles already. I'm not sure if I like this because that doesn't change the fact that Smog is very close to End Summon. So now Irby has nothing to counter the End Summon. Yeah, absolutely nothing. And yeah, but also you need to... I, mean, I think this Cavalier units from Mr. Smog are coming in clutch actually, if you think about it. That forces him, if not anything, to make many, many pikes. And special yeah, summon. Yeah. Oh my god, this was such Elven a... Wood, Elven Wood will be covered. Nice trample on the Mirks, but he's gonna lose those cavalry units, unfortunately. Yeah. They will be recovering That's anyway. GG. It was GG, such GG, a GG. turn around, man. I was like, oh my god, and then, oh my god, and then... <laughs> Guys, great news. We're gonna have best of seven with seven games. Oh my god! <laughs> Guys, free, free. Three, three. Who would have oh thought that? Oh my god. Oh, this is the best final. We could how have did, done for better. How did Glorf not turn that around? I don't get it. I don't know, man. This is crazy. How did he what? I was focused too much. I think he was being focused on Mix by Mix and Cav. Mm -hmm. And Aldir. So that's why he went down so fast. Okay. So, we're gonna spin our wheel one last time.
like Gimli would say. Um, but first and of all, let me update our scoreboards. I forgot to say the quote just like in the video uh, when this was the Dwarven Mirror. May the best dwarf win. <laughs> yeah, may the best dwarf win. But he was saying that always to Legolas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so... And yes, Forts of Eisen. Every time yes. when Solas is here, we have Forts of Eisen. <laughs> it's a perfect map for the final match, to be honest. Yeah. This is... Okay, okay. Forts of Eisen for the mean? final game. On the, f the final map for the grand final. And we have a final indeed. We have uh, best of seven. It's 3-3 three, three right now. Um, are more people playing on Hamachi or Rivora? Uh, <laughs> I think the wow. most people are playing on Game Ranger, so took W. Someone give that man a download link. Yeah, but to be honest, may many people don't know that. So just download uh, Game Ranger and you will see many, many rooms you will be able to play. Last match, wow, yeah, also El Rohit is hyped about it, uh, but I think uh, there is no reason to not be hyped about it. This is crazy. I was not expecting that much. Imagine now the last game lasting forever, you know, unlocking all the PowerPoint abilities would be ep epic and to be honest, but yeah. Uh, it depends on Erby. Uh, so far, he was always pre-picking the faction. Let's see what he's gonna pick now for the final game. I'm calling elves. You're calling elves? I think so, maybe. Uh, remember, this game is gonna decide who is gonna get $120 or who is gonna get $50, $50 instead. Yeah, basically, Jim, there is a cash prize of $200 for that. Tournament. Okay, I just want to say something. You copyright my YouTube video, my friend. <laughs> 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 they gotta mute me now. <laughs> <laughs> well, one second. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. All right, it'll be speaking dwarf. So the will the prophecy will be true. May the best dwarf win. Yeah, let's see. I think uh, smoke crashed. Gotta restart. Oh, oh really? See, yeah, he's he's on uh, game ranger. We need to go back to game ranger real quick. Uh, by the way, on the Twitch channel, we have also 870 followers, guys. 870 followers. And 408 subscribers on the YouTube channel. Pretty dope. Game Ranger goes down, ima goes down imagine. Now, imagine now Game Ranger goes down and we need to make another best of seven series between those players. <laughs> oh my god. Solas versus Winner, please. Yeah, that's gonna be the case also for the show match between the world champion and against Solas. But not today. Start, please. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, one second. Okay. Remember, we have spinned our wheel already. Clone at work. Uh, thank you so much for the, for the follow. Appreciate it. Okay, Forts of Eisen it is. You can open more spots here. Disable the custom and the ring heroes. Watch out, Clonny Twerk entering the ship. Ahoy matey. Ahoy matey. Uh, quick question, I heard Bifimi Yoda was big name in the Bifimi community. Was he in this tournament? No, he was not in this tournament. Bifimi Yoda is also a, a streamer who is streaming um, B Bifimi 2, Bifimi 1 and Rise of the Witch King. But he's a big noob, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Joking. We had a lot of people actually signed up in for the tournament. 32 players we had from 19 different countries. We had an amazing group stage going on. If you missed any of those games, if you want to catch them up, you should be definitely checking out my YouTube channel for that. Final map, yes, clone, clone at work. You are right, my man. Welcome to the stream, and again, thank you so much for the follow. Sorry, guys, but smoke windows? Hmm. 
To be honest, I don't, I don't really mind who wins that at this point. We had a really great series going on. I'm just hoping for an epic final match on the map for Sofizen. That's what I'm hoping for. That's where you bring up the proxy strats. So, we will have Dwarf Faction RB from RB. And Mr. Smog, once again, like in the previous games, will be picking the random faction. So quite confident to be able to play with whatever faction he gets. What would you think? Uh, what will be the uh, final matchup, Solas? Dwarves against which faction? What do you What do you think? What What your I, um, What your Alvin Eye tells you? Uh, I think Smok is tempting luck a lot, so I think he's gonna get a very bad matchup. So I, I'm saying he's getting Mordor. Oh, he got already two times Mordor from the random faction in this tournament so far. In the first two games, he got two times Mordor. Um. I hope he's not gonna get it for the third time. What would be nice to see is actually, yeah, I, maybe. But we have also seen all the all the factions today, all all of them. We have seen all of them. So I don't really mind what it's gonna be. I hope it's gonna be a great matchup anyway. So goblins, maybe goblins, dwarves, quite balanced, right, Solas? I don't know. Elves. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, may the best dwarf win, Legolas against Gimli! <laughs> what do you think about this matchup, first of all? Solas, and then Eternal, and then this with Twitch chat. It's balanced, and anyone who tells you otherwise is a dwarf noob. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on the right side of the map, we have the yellow dwarf player, Erby. Strong dwarf player so far. Uh, was also able to beat uh, Mr. Smog with this faction already. And on the left side of the map, we have the red Elvin player from Ukraine, Mr. Smog playing Elf faction, which he was getting from the random, while the dwarf player Erby was pre picking this faction. Um, this is the final game, the score is 3 3. Whoever wins this game, chat, will get $120, and the loser doesn't need to be too worried about it because he will still get $50 for himself as well. <clears throat> yeah, let's see. So it's a creep start at the troll, I would imagine. Yes. Yeah. And now it depends. Is Smok gonna play super safe and spend the time of his first battalion just scouting all his nearby spots? Or is he gonna gamble a little bit and try to creep steal? Mm. He's definitely leading with the, with the builder to the top side. Maybe he will be able to scout in time. But yeah. Yeah, Smoke is doing all the standard stuff. One builder used to scout the closest mineshaft's positions. And, um, well, you could argue where to place your fourth tree. He's doing it in the south, so it spots the south and forward if something passes that. Yeah, let's see what's going to happen. Um, he's trying to lure the troll with the, with the builder to minimize the damage income from the troll no, and he quite. will be able to kill him without taking any damage what the hell trolls are so stupid <laughs> <laughs> or what just happened you know you just just imagine you being a troll like uh, i killed i'm chasing the builder what happened where is he let me look out <laughs> who's hitting me i'm dead <laughs> good impression <laughs> let's see <laughs> Uh, he's capturing the flag for himself. That's gonna give him the chance to get some hobbits. Hobbits, as, as Colin would say on the field. And in the meantime, Lorien archers are joining. He, they are looking to creep this work on the on the middle, on the left side of the river, actually. And yeah, Solas was right. The early game here from Mr. Smog is quite defensive. This Lorien warriors, they were just scouting the entire buff side of the map before they move forward. And they should but, not be um... able to deal damage. Do you remember the last series of this matchup we had on this map? I think Irby was Dwarf. Uh, no, sorry. Irby was the Elf and I think Imperialist was the Dwarf. And we have exactly the same situation where I have a blind spot here. And, yes! Uh, yeah. Ir Irby is coming in and Smok is out of position. Oh yeah. my god. And that was the game-changing this... moment in the game Imperialist against Irby, by the way. It's a glitch in the Matrix, guys. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's this a glitch in the Matrix. This is the exact Matrix. same action, man. And like this is what happens vu. when you're too greedy with your Lorien archers and you want to creep both warglers. Don't ever yeah. feel that safe. You're never that safe. Yeah. 
Good radical as well. He didn't throw it before and now he's throwing it. I always do that. Like, I never throw my radical. And he was using the I, rallying I, call yeah. only on one archer on the other side. The second Ooh. archer doesn't have the buff. You don't want to fight them in a melee fight. Those guardians of galaxy, they are guardians of the mount's doom. Nah, of the lonely, <laughs> lonely, lonely. What's the what's the home from the dwarves? Lonely mountain. Lo lonely mountain, yes. Erebor. Erebor. Um, but yeah, uh, Smoke was able to take down as a main mine shaft in the. In the He's oh. able to take down many things here. Uh. Erby missed a big opportunity to kill the very first tree over here. He could have already killed it, I think. Hardy on the field. Battle wagon on the field. Hobbits on the field. Oh, wow. Battle wagon already on the field? So oh, that's quite early. Yeah. This is very, very good because he's got to get the battle carrier. The tree is still going to die. Wow. All yeah. the three trees Whoa. died. That's massive. 250 smoke. command points for Smokies. He has no farms. No, one farm, sorry. And that's massive, actually. Is right this going to be a quick final? or? Right now, Irby just has to sit back. If you kill that many trees, don't feel pressured to attack anymore. Just yeah. expand normally and play a normal game. Don't be aggressive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. This is like when, uh, what you said uh, the other day, I think it was, um, well, yesterday. Um, or last time you cast, I don't remember, I'm a bit tired. Um, basically, when uh, the, elven are, the uh, elves are regrouping in this base, don't mm -hmm. attack, wait for them to die, um, die, sorry, disperse again, you know? You know. Okay. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm losing German my German is coming out, you know, this is like, you know, because it's you get used to that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, he was able to to keep this mineshaft at the top right side with the help of the hobbitses alive, and he continued pressuring. That's actually good. Mr. Smock is being in a really rough situation, Chad. I don't know if you can tell, but I yeah. it's gonna be hard for him to come back from this situation. If it's gonna be possible, yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this is like a, a solar set before. We had the exact same game exact the same way uh, here between imperialist dwarfs against Erby's elves the same spot most likely here uh, he was using for the mineshaft and it's nice from to see from Erby that he was actually learning about the matchup against imperialists and doing the same thing what happens to him here against Mr. Smog indeed very smart here 200 IQ nice, nice honest, Michael. trample nice a bigger part of Smoke's mistake was to have both archers creeping, though. Too greedy, this Mr. Smoky. Yeah. I mean, now at this point, he can just sit back and defend himself with all of his units. He can't really afford to go forward. Maybe throw an oil barrel on that one low HP tree. Maybe it burns down. <laughs> yeah. Nice, but I don't... Yeah, but mm. 400 command points against 525. We have five power points against seven and a half. Uh, Irby is leading in terms of command points, in terms of power points, and in terms of map control, dominating the game number seven. Let's see if he can snowball, and if he doesn't make any big mistakes, which can cost him the lead, and even give a chance to Mr. Smog to come back from this rough situation. I think what's going to happen is he will start to push soon. Then during the fight, he will unlock Hobbit Summon, and that might win him the game. Yeah. He already has eight points. Yeah, that's really close. He needs ten, so only two more. Maybe just use Rallying Call together with the Hobbits would be even better. But Haldir, in the meantime, is putting in some nice work all over this mm -hmm. side. He's gonna lose another Malone tree. In the meantime, Mr. Smog is actually creeping at least at something. Um, yeah. He's making a stitch here. He needs to kill this battle wagon no matter what. With the help with Haldir or something, or with the fortress when he gets any closer, right click on it. Yeah. Also good statue from Smog. Yeah. 
but this Malon tree will be taken down. I like the way Irby is playing. He's not rushing things. He's just going slow, taking down every single Malon tree first before he's gonna go for the final push, fishing oh, for some power points. Hell dear, hell dear, hell dear. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I mean, Irby is really close for the, for the Hobbit special summon as well. I see Alex in the chat. I see King Brent on the field. Uh, Alex, my man, welcome to the stream. Bad 220 wins, viewers, man. it's crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> go, go, go. Yeah, it's 3 3, Alex. We have a crazy final. Quite even. But this game is looking super nice here for the Dwarven player, Irby. Hmm. The battle wagon is down. Heldir is level five already. Oh, that's that's good for the Elven player. Ah, I, I was missing a bit. I was sorry on my phone because answering some message. But now I'm back and you're great. Is alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good to have free caster, so <laughs> I can lay AFK. down on you. <laughs> I can <clears throat> lay down on you. So hmm. Smoke is. Well, he's, well, he's still in the back seat, but he's, he, in he's, way still, he's still in the game. He's still in the game. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. And also, Irby picked a heal, so he, he's not that close anymore for the Hobbit special summon. Mm -hmm. I think it's good, though. I think now Hobbit summon wouldn't achieve much anymore without the wagon. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah um, the Haldir is going to be important for Mr. Smog to keep him alive, to keep him safe with the leadership. Um, as long as he can actually keep those units alive, he can defend unless a really big push gonna be the case. Um, but I like to look at the top side, look at the bottom side from Mr. Smog. So I like mm -hmm. the way he's trying to expand, try to get some map control back. And if, if Irby actually does what he's doing right now, that might actually give a shot to the Elven player Mr. Smog to win this game. Yeah. One thing you could have done is just make a tower where they are fighting right now. Because this elven army can't kill structures. So one tower yeah. would win this entire fight for him. Yeah, true. Also, he purchased banner. I don't know if you guys saw it. Nice oh, yeah. slam shot. Very good. A banner carry upgrade purchased once again from Irby. Like he does, he likes to do that. To upgrade yeah. those guardians to level 2 and unlock their charge attack ability. Some creeping going on for smoke. Smoke has actually more uh, CP than um, Irby. Yeah, but it doesn't mean too much, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah. Smoke picked uh, Mist, and he has Rallying Call they on top of that, almost four power points, and 10 power points collected from Irby. So, what should be the power point he should be going for? Uh, definitely Mist. I mean, uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, Irby. But Hobbit. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, <clears throat> oh, he went Hobbit. Cause I, I would have seen uh, Undermine with, well, maybe I'm, I'm too much of a philanthropist, yeah. but yes, you undermine. are. Undermine, <laughs> undermine with jammers. <laughs> I would have picked Lone Tower right now because Smoke is very Archer heavy. This oh, slam yeah, yeah. shot. Oh, are... Lone Tower, you can get it here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm noob. Okay. I retire. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> um, Mr. Smok in the meantime was able to take down this mineshaft at the top right side of the map. He has now this in under his control. We're gonna get to see some of these charge. Gohan peasants. Charge. Oh, never mind. Cha oh, well, Hobbits. Then. Don't charge, don't charge. Rallying call? Oh, oh, this is, this is great for Smok right yeah. now. Stage in the back, yeah. Rallying call plus Mist. Oh, it's huge. God. And the Haldir leadership. Mm. Frodo. Um, but I don't Ability know what, is useless. I don't know. Uh, such a bad fight to take for Ruby. Yeah. And the battle wagon. I don't know what's better. Uh, he's looking for a trample on the back line. Right. That's good. He's gonna go, good trample, but... Oh, he's gonna die for that. Oh, he's gonna die for oh, that. No. Fuck. Don't I die on that, Ruby. This is a throw. Guys in the chat. Frodo. Ruby, take my energy. <laughs> Frodo. In the meantime, uh, peasants are pressuring this level 3 mineshaft. There is even a level 3 mineshaft on the side from Ruby. They won't be able to take it down though, because uh, level 3 strategy is also able to shoot. Now the Guardians with the charge attack are trying to keep it safe. They will be able to keep it safe. King Brand was able to get away, who is level 5 by the way. 
and another great defense from Mr. Smog. So what is the mistake from Irby? It was looking so great for him, Solas. What do you think is went wrong for him? Um, he didn't secure the map enough, in my opinion. What I would have done is just secure the in spot with a statue, a tower, and just force the elf to attack me. And then I take the better fight and win. So you would say that he was a bit too... Uh, too hyped about it to actually finish the game without mm -hmm. having enough on the field. Yeah. Like, most people always think I need to attack with dwarves all the time. But after you've done your damage, just get rich. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Old. So I don't know the about grass. the rebuild ability as well from the dwarf player Erby. Uh, but we have 12, almost 13 power points collected for the, uh, for the Elven player Mr. Smok. Yes, currently uh, even bad. 800 command points almost available. Massive lead. He's gonna go Eagles after this. Yeah, I think Irby is dead. He's about to lose the south. And that's his last flank, you know. He has a rebuild to keep it safe in Come the on. worst case, but... Mm. Yeah, so yeah, basically he did a big mistake with that battle and just like Solo said, he didn't secure his sides enough. I don't know, man. I was quite sure that Irby got this, you know? He yeah, yeah but he did some mistake. Yeah, he had it. Like, there's no better starting situation than what he had. Yeah. It's not the end yet, but it's really getting close to Eagles and there is no counter to them, so... Yeah, yeah. he has almost the power points <clears throat> already. <clears throat> Fuck. <laughs> Unfortunately here for the... Slovenian player Irby, he needs to do something and uh, maybe look for a great trample here with this battle wagon. Somehow get in the back line, but uh, eagles so are here. The eagles are coming. Oh, battle wagon's going down, giving even more XP. Brian is. What? Focusing Brian? Okay, yeah. well, no, the fort is not gonna go down. Then. Would be nice if Brent would be level 7, you know? Use the yeah. Beast Slayer arrow, take one of them immediately down. He's level 6. Ruby is a bit panicking, he made too much Guardians. He has he heal, should be Orange. using heal on the brands. Oh, he's, he's trying to put counter pressure. He, he's right to do so because there is only the Eagles and the Pikes. He, uh, Smoke cannot push, cannot push this, all these archers are here. There is only Pikes on the field. Is there a Rallying Call? Rallying Call is not ready for Smoke, so he's definitely not gonna get the Fortress. Maybe he's gonna get this level 3 farm, so... Nah, he has also the Rebuild ready, so... Would be very good. A lot of counter attacking going on in the meantime. Yeah. He's taking down three, three trees at the same time. Let's go, B. Let's go. We need to be neutral. <laughs> he has riches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't but care. I don't care, Six. You <laughs> should not have used it here. You should not have used it here. Smog sees it. He's going to oh, go no. for it right now. He could have used it in the top, you know? He has rebuilt ready gone. still, so. He's okay, going to send everything there. Ah, oh, man. Just build wall ups around the fortress and... Do the counter damage. Yep. He he does do counter damage. Uh no wall hubs. I mean, those from Mr. Are not enough, but they can they can deal some some damage. Oh builders from smoke died. Rebuild? Yeah, rebuild abuse. But it's not gonna deny, it's gonna delay, mm -hmm. but Smoke is going uh, for Herb Grace. I don't think rebuild was a good pick here. You should have let it die. Smoke is down to four hundred CP. He has almost no farms left. So good, man. But he has units on the field, though. But those Everyone units, they should not be able to finish the fortress. Yeah, Brent, banner Brent carriers. Will die. Ooh, yeah, Aldir's faster, so yeah. There is no but... running away from an elf. Elf is faster ah. and sees brighter. If only he had used Warden Riches on the mineshaft in the north. Oh, yeah, man. I totally agree with you. But I think still Mr. Smok has the upper hand here. All mm. trees are down. He has no farms except yeah. like a few crappy ones. He has only pikes and archers on the field and Aldir. Yeah, but on the other side, there is almost nothing left from. Uh, yeah, he's gonna have Hobbit summon. I think Urbi went for Glowin. I'm pretty sure. But why? Yeah. Why not? Yeah, here we go, Glowin. Glowin is super strong against archers. But yeah. don't get out of fortress range, please. Yeah, the exactly. daddy from from uh, the bikes are gonna deal a lot of damage oh, to glowing though. Slam, Please don't slam, die. Please slam. don't die. He has no heal available. He has no heal available. Oh my god, he's gonna die. Don't he's gonna die. die. Oh, the, nice. The Guardian nice. protecting their king. 
He's gonna get into the mineshaft. He's gonna get into the mineshaft. Yes, go hide. Hides, my my king. Go. Oh my god. Oh, the, the fort, fortress. guys, the fort. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> what the? Hobbit seven. Let's go. No, no, it will be a waste. Never mind. Don't listen to me. Or he's not gonna. He's <laughs> not gonna take it down, though. Uh, man, the... if he had, um, um, man, if he had um, siege armors, he would have taken down. Yeah, of course, but Irby... this was a waste. Irby has the upper hand again, man. Yeah. So, chat, after this crazy confusing game. stuff that happened, we have 410 command points available for, for Mr. Smog. He has Eagle, Special Summon, Elvin Woods, and Miss. All of these three abilities are on cooldown, only available abilities uh, Rallying Call. And on the other side, we have 525 command points available for the Dwarf player Irby. He has Dwarven Riches. Unfortunately, he ended up losing this mineshaft he used this on. He has Hobbit Special Summon, which is ready, as well as Heal. And we have King Gloin on the field, though. Um, and he has heal available just in case he might need it. Let's go, Irby! I'm neutral. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he, he needs to use... <laughs> <laughs> Right, 10 power Brand points. He's yeah. going for Gimli, guys. Double no. heroes. That gives him the upper hand, I think. Yeah. Orbit summon. Gloin can tank a million shots from Lorien archers. Yeah. And, and also, there's no mix on the field yet. And also, he's gonna no, deal a significant amount of damage to the fortress, which is quite slow already. So yeah, I believe he... Irby is going for Dane or um, Gimli, and he should, because that's uh... what you need against so much archers. He he should really not tunnel vision on that low fortress right now. Yeah, I agree. I think he should buy Lone Tower. Mm, you think he's only five power point away oh, yeah. from uh, barrage. barrage? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I changed my mind. Yeah. What a game, chat! What a game! What a grand final! Yeah, the crazy. final game of the finals. I mean, the first first of all, Irby had the upper hand, then Mr. Smog somehow managed to come back after having a really rough start into the game, and then now he made a mistake by only making archers instead of making some units which can actually take down structures. And now Irby, I don't know, crazy. Slam yeah. shot. Boom! Oh, Ooh. beautiful. Can we get some peasants in heavy armor, please? <laughs> Let's highlight the timer on this game, by the way, please. Irby needs three and a half more power points, and then the Fortress of the Elf is dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would like to see Legolas here. Elf <laughs> is pushing very hard, but only with slowly archers on top. Uh, yeah, now Elf got back his CP again, but yeah. he's still no Milk Woods. And did he purchase a heavier hero? Yeah, but then? I don't know, man. If only of only heroes gonna be enough, you know, from the dwarf player. He's looking for a slam shot, but he's, he's gonna be enough units. because uh, dwarven heroes. Um, but you can fight very, for the map control. That's the problem, you know. You can fight for the map control dodge. without having units. Yeah, yeah, on the field. of course. And then yeah, of course, you will need units, but uh, until slam shot, slam shot, like slam until shot. he gets units, will be good. You slam shot oh that into the arch. Oh slam my god! Slam. Oh my god, oh, no. slammed there. Is there stealth maybe? He's like... No. Ooh, what oh, the oh my god! Heck? Golden yeah, arrows! Yeah, okay. This was really Christ. golden. Oh Slam boy. Shot, come on. Look, the units oh, are well. in uh, Now he's too afraid. He's just gonna be like, okay, I'm leaving. Yeah. He's he like, needs to kill here. Okay, good throw, good throw. What? Mist and forest? What the fuck is green smoke? What? No, that's... Why mist? Mist and forest, man. Okay, what is okay, happening here, chat? Listen, he needs to get barrage before Eagle Summon is back. He needs to kill the fortress before Eagle Summon is back. Yeah, although Brian is level 7, man. One one hit, he will kill one Eagle instantly if he's in mm. position. Slam shot, maybe? He's gonna go for it. Oh, that's gonna be massive. <laughs> Gimli, he, Gimli's gonna be purchased, by the way, guys. I'm pretty sure. But the yeah. sun. He's got the money for it. Oh, please don't use Barrage on the army. He needs to realize that the fortress is still low. Yeah. And send Glowin and Glowin and Barrage would take care of the fortress, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. But Slam Shot, slam shot and Slam from uh, Glowin are on cooldown, so he can't really approach too much, even though the archers are basically doing, dealing zero damage to this Glowin. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. Uh, yeah. Arrow dodge, guys. He's like, are oh, you he... even trying? You know? Barrage. We have Barrage. Barrage, Barrage, Barrage. Gordon, don't use it on the army. 
He's yeah, gonna use it on the army. I, I call it. No, he's no, gonna no, use it on the army. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's 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 he's. Watch. No, he's no, 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 no. Fortress. Those Lorians are are useless. Don't. No. I told Those you guys. Those do nothing. They can I do nothing. I told you guys. <laughs> yeah. I mean, as a player, I would still be tricked. I would be like, oh, look at this juicy army. I'm going to yeah. use it here. But he even <laughs> saw the fortress at this moment. He saw yeah. it. But would it be enough to take it down? That's the question. Yes. Yes. Okay. Imagine you use it and then the fortress still, I don't know, maybe 10% health. Oh, he lost his riches mine. Level 3. And Glowin is going all in. What is he doing? Oh, my God. Both players are doing... Oh, Glowin is dead. Throw. You slam before you die, at least. Oh. No! Brand, go away! Gimli! Oh! Adir! Died from slam shot. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but we have, you know, like, I'm gonna revenge my father. Gimli is joining the battlefield, guys. Oh, my God. This game is a roller coaster. Clown fiesta. <laughs> Just the fuck. Okay, extra. Do it, my friend. Eagles are... Uh, oh ready. my god, yes, Gimli, are ready. Gimli, don't suicide. And Beast Slayer place. is on cooldown. Oh my god. This is, the, this is the problem, guys. If he killed the fortress, there would be no eagles right now. Yeah. Yeah. This is no the game. Eagles. This he is killed. GG. Oh man. Please don't be GG. Yeah, it is. I uh, even be. used the Beast Slayer arrow on something else, so he's not ready mm. to kill an eagle. Everything that has a beginning has also an end, Atiana. <sighs> Irby had the game, then he had it not, then he had it again, and now he's yeah. dead. So, if you ask me, he's the world champion, because he won this game twice, and just didn't do it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Mistakes were made, he had a, such an upper hand early on, he, has, he had such a great start, he was able to sneak through some of these guardians with rallying call, taking down four of four, out of four Malone trees from his opponent. And then made a couple of mistakes. No, don't call it. He's calling it GG. <laughs> He's about to no! lose his structures. Gandalf! <laughs> Irby. Congratulations to Mr. Smog. Also, congratulations to Irby uh, being the second here uh, and very well performed and very well played Amazing from both games. The players. I was 233 viewers, by the way. Crazy, guys. Chat is going crazy. G -g 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 -g. <laughs> Very so well played. In total, we reach more than 350 viewers with yeah. zero here. That's insane. That's insane, guys. I don't know what to say. I don't even know. I didn't even know it was possible with so we're gonna the give the community to to have so much hype. Thank you, guys. Right now, okay, okay, Thanks to all of us, all the community. Goblin Report tipped one dollar. What a generous pirate! All maps, seven games, three casters, three hundred plus views, five donations. Shanks oh, interview me. uploaded. This was an amazing <sighs> tournament. Congratulations. Go Goblin Report, thank you so much for the for the generous donation again of one dollar. Appreciate it. All maps, seven games, three casters, three hundred plus views, uh, five donations. Shanks interview uploaded. This was an amazing tournament. Congratulations! Congratulations to everybody. Congratulations to Mr. Smock for being the world champion. Congratulations to everyone who participated and to those who were actually imperialists who was also able to win the game here today and securing himself the third place. And yeah, it was great. We're gonna give the points to Mr. Smog. Everyone who bet on Mr. Smog will get rewarded. Um, but you gotta admit, man, this was closer than everyone was thinking. You gotta admit that yeah, one. It was so good. And that was really Man, great. Irby won this game twice, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so Irby, sad. Irby won this game so twice. Sad. But throws were meat, you know? That's the that's the whole promise, you know? Everything is possible. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the players in game are not thinking the same as us. So. Yeah. Oh. Fat cat. <laughs> uh, congrats. Great series great performance guys by the way if you're watching it over at twitch right now please make sure to follow the stream for more content like this if you're watching it over at youtube please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this uh, i guess we're gonna end the stream now we were streaming for a long time and yeah thank you so much for tuning in um take care of yourself 
have a great start into the weekend. And again, big thanks to the oh. channel. Yes, and don't forget to show the little announcement we have for everybody for the next tournament. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, I didn't save Two that. <laughs> oh, I, you have the link. Um, I, I'm just, gonna, I'm gonna download it. Yeah, next tournament, guys. It's gonna be special and it's gonna be very, 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 very. Yeah, nice. let's let's make it then together with Solas, uh, Eternal, and me because we three were actually brainstorming about it. Uh, let's do it. So, um, gotta. What is that? It's here. Yeah. I'm sending you the link. Okay. Okay. Basically, Jan Whoa. tipped ten dollars and seven cents. What a generous pirate! You do incredible work. Well done. Hey, my friend. Thank you so much for your donation. For uh, ten dollars and seven cents, appreciate it. You do incredible work. Well done. Thank you so much for your nice words. They mean more to me than you think. Thank you. Uh, how to download that? That's the question. Uh, there we go. I need to download here. The virus what Eternal is sending to me. <laughs> We're gonna take a look into it. It was also made and created by Eternal. It's gonna be the next tournament, by the way. Uh, we're not gonna get too much into the details. You're gonna just get a really, you know, like a sneak peek kind of thing into the name of the tournament and into the format of the tournament. But we're not gonna get into the rules and everything. I'm just gonna make yeah. a different topic for that. So I'm opening yeah, it yeah. one second. This will be very specific. Okay, guys, let's take a look into it. Uh, what? This is our next tournament, ladies and gentlemen. All of these replays are on my YouTube channel. Oh, wait. That's the name of the tournament, by the way. Um, so, quick information about the name of the tournament. It is going to be the Rise of the Smurf King. This name was actually brainstormed by Solas, uh, also the format of this tournament. Um, it's going to be uh, in November. I don't, I can't tell you the exact the, when it's going to start, but just for you, a sneak peek about that, what's going to happen uh, in, the new, in the near future. But for the next two, three, four weeks, at, uh, at least, we're not going to do anything in terms of tournaments. But next week we are planning to make a show match between Solas against Mr. Smoke, who is the world champion now, by the way. Um, yeah, Solas hopefully will be also participating in his own tournament because it was his idea, so I'm really hoping for it. Yeah, uh, just... W yeah, w nobody... If you part... Um, no. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> um, this tournament, guys, it's basically... You no, you will have it's so, gonna be so secret, so secret. Basically, every player will play will have an attribute name. Nobody will know. Uh, well, I'm explaining. Nobody it will very know badly. your true identity. Exactly. Maybe so as they want to explain it because I'm expressing myself badly. <laughs> I mean, but you can think about it, right? So it's the rise of the Smurf King. Uh, and the goal is to make it a bit, you know, because we're gonna get into the details anyway. Uh, to make out. it simple, Alex 989 no one will ship. know who is gonna Ahoy be the winner of the tournament until the tournament is done. Okay? No one will, will know the names of the players, not a viewer, not the players themselves. Uh, we will be using unique names, new names, and new account on Game Ranger to not, you know, to eliminate the... the Problem that someone knows you has his, has you has you actually in his friend list with his, with your ID, so it's gonna be completely unique, so, completely something I've never me personally I've never heard about it before. Uh, yeah. It was from suggested from Solas, and I like the idea. We will have 
uh, a lot of maps included in this tournament as well uh, we will have a different rules for the maps we're gonna you know rotate between those maps but yeah like mentioned before we're gonna just discuss more solas etana and me i think about the details before with we make an announcement too. yeah with aber and everyone yeah like with yeah. everyone who is actually in the staff of rise of the witch king to make it as successful as we can and you will be definitely getting announcements uh, during the next one two weeks when it's gonna be when it's gonna start when it's gonna be who's able to participate what are the rules what is the format everything will be explained okay yeah so yeah it's gonna be awesome because basically you as a player you will not know who you are playing against you will not uh you will only know it when if you win basically if you win you will know who you were against if you lose people will know who you were okay so that's what says like that basically the viewer experience is gonna be okay who is this guy he has a particular play style who is he you know and i'm gonna try to uh discover his identity basically but nobody will know you have a new account only the casters i mean the organ the um, um staff will know the names of the players so only a few people nobody else yeah and like the player as a player you maybe you will be playing against solas and you will not know it you know maybe you'll be playing against the biggest newbie in the community and you will not know it and that's just it's just so good like yeah let's see how it's like, gonna be said, like <clears throat> i'm just losing my words a bit tired but like he said in the trailer basically glory without renown you're going in for your own glory but nobody will know your name basically yeah except play on, play on the end battleground. <laughs> yeah um i mean the, the the obvious thing is we're gonna make an announcement just maybe too much after having a three hour stream watched here now um this is just a yes, quick announcement course. about what's what it's gonna be it's gonna be one v one and what it's also gonna be important is we will allow only 16 players for signing up okay yeah because i think organization wise this is gonna be a mess and with 32 players it might be a bit too much uh we better start with 16 players and if it's gonna go well we can still do another one with 32 players so Lars, is there anything you want to say about this no okay <laughs> <laughs> clear clear uh yeah guys thank you so much for watching um think about it this is gonna be the rise of the smurf king tournament um the rules and everything else we need to still discuss to make it as perfect as we possibly can again congratulations to our world champion mr smog after having a great uh after ha having a great uh, finals going on today between Irby and him thank you rambutan it was the idea from solas by the way You're, you guys are welcome we're gonna have a lot of things going on there is enough for 16 players turning in 1.09 dude um, yeah, but this one is gonna be for Rise of the Witch King. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna still do something for the BFM I promise. Because um, the, I don't... I, I like all the BFM games. I'm gonna check the Discord PM as well, so later. Thank you, by the way, for taking screenshots of that. Yeah. Again, congrat congratulations to Mr. Smog. Thank you so much, Solas and Eternal, for joining the co-commentary. Thank you. And especially thank Thanks you, Eternal, for making those beautiful images. You need to still make two, two for me for the bronze match <laughs> and for the grand uh, yes, final. Yes, yes. And I'll make special ones. Yeah, guys, thank you so much. I hope you had fun during this during this last five weeks. Uh, we streamed a lot of games. Was I had a lot of fun actually? Was my best month so far since I've started streaming. Really proud of it. Really proud of you guys uh, for not letting us alone in this five weeks. And yeah, thank you so much for the follows again. Thank you so much for the BDs, donations, and subs. I really appreciate every single one of them. Especially you guys, because of sharing your precious time here with us. And see you <clears throat> maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after with normal streams instead of the tournament. <clears throat> and the My voice is gone. <laughs> and the announcement of this Rise of the Smurf King will be made in the next couple of days, weeks. Uh, and we're gonna make everything what matters so you can actually take a look into it if you want to participate participate if not it's also okay thank you imperialist thank you guys okay that's it peace guys